access granted. Yo, sup? Here we go. Oh my god, camera's working, everything. I think we're a bit, yeah, a bit of a weird one today. But we've got uh, just over three hours. We're going to do some Dragon Age. And uh, see what we can get done. I had to take care of some work. The work is taken care of. Uh, at least 95% of it. There might be more work. I don't know. We shall see. But um, let's uh, swing. How you doing there, Swain? Thank you for being here. Right at the beginning, my dear. Uh, how are you, Swain? Are you alright? How's your Sunday? I always... Time zone thing. It's like... It's, it's just like... It's lunchtime for you, isn't it? <laughs> I'm like... I feel like, feel like... Work. I mean, is it work? I don't know. I don't know. It felt like work. I've done like a whole day's work... A whole day. I've done a couple of hours worth of work. I feel like the day's almost over. For you... And even some others. It's just beginning. It's just beginning. Um, I don't know. I f it feels... Um, I like the idea more of being like in the past. And like other people are like in the future. It feels like you've got more time. I'm, I'm jelly, is what I'm saying. Um, stomach flu? Ah. That's not good. Are you going to be... Uh, I don't... Is it, is it Tuesday to Friday you work? So you've got another day off tomorrow. Here we go, anyway, I'm going to get some, uh... We'll fight some big old demon here. And yeah, it crashed on us yesterday, didn't it? It was a bit weird. I don't know what that was about. Let's, let's see if... I hope it doesn't do that again. I think maybe it, just, it was just a little bit too hot. I don't know. You're off tomorrow, anyway. Well, I hope you're... I hope you're feeling better by Tuesday, when you go back to work, but, um... <clears throat> being ill... It sucks anyway, but being ill on your on when it's your weekend, oh, oh. that's the worst. But anyway, hang in there, Swain. Lovely Swain. You you do fine. I'm sure. I believe. I believe in your Swain. <laughs> anyway, yes. Uh, Altar of Sundering. Stick. Yeah, we're sticking this uh, body parts you of things together. No deals. We fight you. Here we go. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Oh, Fade Beast. Oh, we've almost, um. Oh, he got shanked. His, his bark and his, uh. His, uh, visage was far scarier than his actual, uh. His actual bite. Is that what he drops? Crappy armor. Oh, maybe I should have been. Maybe I should have let him go free. Oh, whatever. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Benjamin! Ben, how you doing, bro? What's going on with you, sir? Thank you for being here. How's your Sunday going? Honoured that you're here, Ben. It's, I'm sure there's better place, more fun places to be right now. <laughs> but yeah, see, we are very late. But um, it was one of those um, necessary things. But I'm hoping... From uh, Tuesday, I can uh, we'll be doing like f back back on the full stream. It's been a bit of a weird weekend. Oh my god! And yes, Shale, it's trying time to squish something. Your your uh, your your kin. Okay. 
You better now. Yeah, well, you're not feeling very well, Ben. I've got the impression, like, not that we haven't spoken in a while, Ben, but I'm always here if you need me, bud. If you, if you do want, you know, you just let me know. But um, I've got the impression you were not having a good time of it, buddy. I don't want to like call you out or question you about it on stream, but well, let me turn let me turn the game down a little bit. It's a bit, it's a bit raw, isn't it? There we go. Balance, just balance it out slightly. Yeah, that's a bit better. Oh, this thing. There we go. But yeah, I mean, life is, um... Think about life. Oh my god, look at the spider go. Think about life, is it? It just keeps going. It's not all bad, but, um, you know, it's not all good either, is it? It's kind of like sucky things. Uh, there's always something. There's always something. Stressed at work. Yeah. Ben, I imagine you're uh, incredibly good at your job, Ben. And um, trust me when I say, as jobs go, it could be a lot worse. But I obviously, I don't, I'm, I don't know what you're specifically dealing with on a daily basis that's the and even though it's like cool retail it's still retail and retail is all sorts of bullshit trust i know i've <laughs> done it long enough <laughs> god thinking about it, i don't even know how i did it without like just losing my freaking mind and i guess i did a few times god i can say a few stories What's with these spiders running away from us? That's a bit freaky. They're trying to ambush us. Very freaky. We're about to stumble on the spider queen. Oh, sorry, I'm just... Uh... You know what, I'm going to... This is where I actually sit. Let me put that there. Let me... That's, that's correct. So let me just adjust this cam slightly. I need less on the right and more on the left. There we go. That's better. Sorry, just making sure I've got more liquids here. Right. Sorted. Sorted, innit? What? what now? What now is we keep uh keep going. Ooh. Auto save. That's always ominous. Weathered right up there. Well, that was the wrong time for the ambush. They should have waited. Uh, oh, there's all of them. Oh, right. And we've got Dark Spawn. Is that right, is it? See. What manner of beast Spiders. <laughs> what manner of beast is this? It's just a spider. I say just a spider. They're pretty intense as spiders go. Oh dear.
slight disturbing the uh dark spawn they're kind of being friendly with the spiders but you know whatever Atheline, how you doing there Af? you want my dear sorry i um you probably expected me earlier i didn't know if i meant i think i mentioned it yesterday but i don't know if you're around i had some work to take care of today but it's all done now so we're just in a, a short stream for a couple of hours uh making our way through the deep roads um <coughs> But, um, yeah, how you doing, my dear? Are you alright? Well, I guess for you it's still early, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Corrupted Spider Queen. Disappeared. Interesting. Oh, there she is. Alright, kill, kill your children first, then. That's fine. Oh. Okay, just got yeeted there. That's, uh, that's fine. It's not fine, but, uh, <laughs> um, revival. Is that because you don't have enough, uh, mana there? Oregon is, is isn't it? Is your time to die? No. Hmm. Is that enough? Yes. Here we go. Wow, awful creature. Wow. This is testing us a little bit here. got the awful thing. Keeps running away. Where you at? It's not dead yet, unless it just scurried away and it, to preserve its own life, I don't know. It killed all its children. Oh, did it? Oh, bless you. Bless you. I appreciate that, my dear. <laughs> I don't really expect people to watch old past streams, do you know what I mean? But, yeah, so I do appreciate that. Task is finished. Yeah, we thought that we had much to do. We just, um... We just chonking our way through the deep roads. That's what we literally started like to uh, what how long have we been on the go? Yeah, well twenty minutes live, uh but I mean I didn't sit down and start doing anything until like ten minutes ago, literally. So Hey guys, we found Bronca's journal. What kind of freaking journal is it? I'm just gonna write in my journal. It's larger than I am. Uh <laughs> looks like someone's journal. The uh cover is battered and torn but intact. As you leave through the desiccated pages, the text catches your eye. Uh, we found evidence evidence today that the anvil of the void was not built in the autumn tide uh, we will go south to the dead trenches the anvil is somewhere beyond uh, my soldiers tell me i'm mad and the dead trenches are crawling with darkspawn they will surely die before we reach the anvil if we find it <clears throat> uh, i leave this here in case they're right if i die in the trenches perhaps someone can yet to walk past my corpse and retrieve the anvil uh for if it remains lost so do we all hmm maybe um no you're not missed much at all um if i have not returned and ogren yet lives tell him no what i have what i have to say should be for his ears alone Ooh. chicka chicka bow wow is that what you want to say in his ear uh, this is my farewell. And we're taking that chunky old book with us. <laughs> right, let's go. Go then. Wait, where did the spider queen go? I can't believe she just ran away from us. I just wanted to kill her. I feel like we had the right to kill her. Um. Uh, 
after all that. That's cool. That's not the only enemy in the game that like has actually tried to preserve its own life, which is kind of cool. Also, I wanted the XP and what what treasure does the corrupted Spider Queen drop exactly? We shall never know, seemingly. I don't know. Let's go. So um, that's our next clue. Head to the south to the dead trenches. Yeah, sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Oh, Shale, you've got a level up. That's silly me. No, not an equip. Crying out loud. I, I, I swear I know how to play this game. Uh, I think we want... Yeah, we want some dexterity, didn't we? Yes, here we go. So we want disengage. We don't actually want care about disengage. We want to get perfect striking. Um, there we go. So that's uh, that's got that covered. Oh, dead trenches all the way over there. And also not to the south. Seemingly, unless that unless that is to the south. You just always kind of assume um any time in a, a particularly a fantasy RPG or any RPG or any game you see a map, you just assume the top of the map is north. That's how you should draw the map anyway. But anyway, um right, okay, uh, we might get into a random encounter or two going this way, but um let's find out. Oh dear. Oh my god, it's the arch demon. Well, I mean is now the time. Surely it's aware of us. Maybe he just doesn't care. Yeah, it's off, off skis. Okay. Wow. So this is like where their forces were like most concentrated on the ground. Um, yeah, but they're heading out. But obviously there's going to be a few hanging around, aren't they? There's, uh, there's no doubt about that. Dark and here they are. Oh, there's some dwarfs as well, though. Hello there. Oh, these are the Legion of the Dead guys. Hardol. They think to breach Orzammar? They're breathing smoke if we let them breathe at all. Okay. That's nice. Do you want to do you want to have a conversation? I guess it's because there's still enemies on the uh, radar is the issue. It's those dwarfs then. They want to back us up. They don't, do they? They're just like, we're just, uh, we're just chilling over here. 
Don't worry, we'll do all the work. Agreed. Thankfully, though, Darkspawn are mostly not a match for us now. Darkspawn everywhere. Oh, I got an ogre up in here as well. Another battle, you see, Morrigan. Well, that's all we do, Morrigan. <laughs> You're like, oh. I don't know about this. <laughs> Alright, finally. Those dwarfs weren't much help, were they? I'll go, have, go back and have a little word for them. I'll be like, oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, well, 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 we don't want to cross that bridge there. We just uh, want to have a little look over here, see? So. Seven. How you doing? Coptimus as well. How you doing? You right there, folks. Um, there's a lot. Uh, yeah, we can, we do, that's that's basically the uh, the game, Cop. Just like, you know, how many people can you kill? I say people. A lot, a lot of people also. Uh, and it's funny how um, at the start of the game, I'm trying to be like very um, very nice to everybody, and, th and it's like as the game goes along, I'm far more uh, inclined just to resort to violence. Um, oh, so that's what they say, isn't it? Uh, you know, power corrupts. Oh, now they come across, do they? Acting like you did all the fighting. Look, ah, oh, we're here. It's over there. Well, Grey Warden, I'll give you credit for backbone. You dug a line through the spawn. Still no sense in your head, but you've got skill. What kind of backhanded compliment is that? Um. Where, wherever though, mate. Anyway. <laughs> You're awake now, Seven. Yeah, I was concerned a minute ago. I was like, oh my God, I'm doing a really late stream. Everyone's going to be miss it and be upset. And it's like, I was like, hang on a minute. It's still like hella early for you guys. <laughs> no, it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> um, if I heard, of, I, don't ca I don't care about the Legion of the Dead. Um, I'm going to tell him about the Blight. Because he's this is the Blight. He's in the middle of the Blight. There's no point in him leaving to go and fight the Blight when you're surrounded by Darkspawn right here. But tell me about the Anvil of the Void, son, because that's what we're looking for. Like dusters, I've heard of respect. Never seen it. And if it exists, it wasn't meant for me. But if you're looking for paragons, you may as well look for the Anvil and Endless Lyrium. Whatever, mate. Let us know if you find any paragons. You're as likely to find a dozen as one. Not impressed with you, son. Look at that. He comes running across the bridge after I've killed all the dark... I'm the I'm of the Legion of the Dead. Oh, uh, what, what's that mean? Oh, well, we just uh, we watch other people fight and die, so we don't have to. Yeah, nice one, mate. <laughs> I think I might have just been the AI. I think the AI was supposed to have come across with you, but it didn't. Sphinx, how you doing, my dear? Are you alright? Hope you're well. Oh, it's that gigantic door there. I don't think we can uh, go through there. Uh, so I guess we're going through the back door. Looks like it. Oh my god, yeah, and it's another hot one. Oh my god, guys. It's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's almost time for that hot tub stream.
dark spawn have sensed us. Well, I mean, we weren't exactly uh, subtle, were we? Okay, so this is the other side of the door. <laughs> wow, I mean... Yeah, no. That's the problem with, uh, if you can build a big chunky door, people can't get through, they're just gonna look for a different way through, aren't they? They just go a different direction. I literally knock through a little tunnel right next to it. <laughs> I think this is a dead end, looks like it. Just gotta deal with this scum. You never like this part. Yeah, well, uh, whatever, Lel. You've murdered enough, uh, enough, uh, well, I say people. Don't spawn out people, but you've done enough killing. To say you never liked it. That's what I feel. Oh, what's that? Fancy looking boots, by the looks of it. Boots of the Legion. Hmm. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, too far too much strength required to wear them, and uh, yeah, no sp no special abilities or anything. So it's like, eh. yeah, it's it's yeah, the little dagger on fire, and uh, the sword is uh, got some frosty poison dripping off of it. Yeah, you'd think that might uh, be an issue, Ben, but he doesn't seem too bothered by it. You know what I mean? Personally, I prefer not to touch fire. Um, but, you know, it's Grey Wardens. They, you know, there's no telling them. They just do what they want. They're, uh, they're a bit rebellious, to say the least. Alright, which way first? Guess we'll go this way. Yeah. Oh. Heels, can I have it? I'm trying to do it. Not, not doing it very well. There we go. Yeah, I hope you're all having a good Sunday so far. And I hope you, uh, it continues to be a good Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I'm not too bad uh, swing. So I had to I start late because I had some uh, some work to take care of. But it is taken care of. And it's, you saw that, you know, you get that feeling of relief. You know, when you've got something you've got to take care of. And you kind of, it's on the back of your mind. And then I've got a little reminder from the person I was in the work for. They're like, oh yeah, you know that work? And it work needs to be done by Monday. I was like, oh! Oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, that that came around quick. Uh, I'm not good at... Uh, I'm going to keep it a schedule, but I'm not good at... Like if someone says, like Sphinx, if you say, oh yeah, can you have a look at this uh, tattoo thing for me? Is um, I, need, I need your opinion on it back in five weeks from now. I'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah, cool. No worries, Sphinx. And then I'll probably won't even think about it again for the next three weeks. And then I, <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to be, a, I'm not being a dickhead about it. It's just that's how my brain works. Um, <clears throat> Trap right ahead. We got that trap right ahead, didn't we?
shall do it. All the loot. So we're going to wedding on Friday. Oh, you dressed us on fit. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so when I went to my, um... I don't... When I went to my, uh... Gran grandmother's funeral the other week, I, uh... I don't really... I'm not... I don't really have, like, smart clothes, really. There's some gloves there. Um, but I think I was like... I'm sure I've got, like, some trousers. Uh, or pants, as you may call them, if you, uh... You know, on that other side of the, uh... The rock. Um, and, like, a, a decent white shirt and a tie. Um, so then it took me, so from that thought, it took me several days to actually go looking for them. Then when I found them out, it took me several more days to actually get around to trying them on to see if they fit. That's just how my brain works. I, I don't, I don't mean, to, it's not laziness. I'm not lazy. I can, you know, if you give me like some task to do, which uh, feels um, worthwhile you know, or not worth, you know, that's not worthwhile, but, um, it's, like, practical and to the point. You know, if you, like, stick me out in the woods, and you're like, here you go, here's, here's an axe, and you just cut down all these trees. Oh, okay, cool. And then you'd be come back like, a few hours later, and be like, how's it going? And I'd go, oh, you're done already? I was like, oh, uh, I, I, how long, what, did I do it too quickly? <laughs> but, like, stuff like that, it's like, oh, Look through your clothes and find a shirt, and then put the shirt on to see if it fits. I'm like, oh, what are you, what are you doing to me? What are you, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> but I don't know, it's my silly brain. Um, there you go, Swain. So what did you do? You you ripped the dress. That's like. That's, that's not good. Well, uh, Sphinx, I hope you can find a suitable replacement. Uh... Oh, God. Stunned and webbed. That's just me running in there. But I'll just run in first. Oh, let's get this uh, little bastard. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. That's my own fault for going after, you know, going after spellcast. I should just let him run away. Idiot. Don't need another one of those, please, Morgan. Oh, ancient dark spawn. What the fucking hell? Okay. Thanks to the rest of my team, we did all right. Not so ancient now, are you, buddy? Now you're brand new. A brand new corpse. It all's well that ends well, eh? That's what they say. Anyway. Uh, that's pretty cool. Grey Warden helmet. You stole that. You sewed it up, did you? Swing. Good on you. Um... Wasn't perfect, but it did the job. My God, is it, isn't that... Oh, the top side is blade. Excellent. Isn't that just like um, a representation of life? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't perfect, but it did the job. That's, that's us. That's us right here. Trying to survive. <laughs> you know what I mean? you you, you got to do the job. you got to do the job. The dark spawn has oh.
Go on, now spider is well good. Wait, like it's, it seems chunky. Like I've not seen it get killed yet. Um, aside from just being an extra body on the battlefield, it's uh, you saw it grab scrag that that uh, herlock there and just kind of did like take him down and nom on him. Ooh, what do you say? Yes, yes, Shale is with us, Seven. Yeah, 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 in this swing, that's just that's just what it is. We you know it's so, like, well here we are. What are we gonna do about it? Gotta do something. <laughs> there, more of the fiends ahead. Indeed. Oh my all the fiends, oh my god. Genlock Forge Master, eh? God, he's he's a he's a tough one. Wow, I love that he just turns his back on us. That's how tough he is. He's like, well, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot arrows at those guys over there. <laughs> Oh, chunky boy. I think I think as we concluded the fight, we had gained the advantage at that point. My God. Um, dark spawn, dark spawn everywhere. Spear thrower, the bow. Oh. Hmm, not quite as good. Not quite as good. Yeah, because that's the thing. I, I You stop the blight by killing, by de destroying the archdemon, right? But that doesn't, I don't think that means miraculously all of the darkspawn just like fall over dead. I think, you know, the leftovers still running around. Therefore, you know, every single darkspawn you kill is making the world a better place. Yeah, that's what I've got us get out of it. It's like not a waste of our time. It's not like they, you know, they just burst into, you know, a puff of smoke and then they're just like, oh no, we can. You know, it's still hanging about. Nope. Oh no. All the shriekers. You should run while you can. Yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna listen to I shall do it. <laughs> I can imagine that shrieker going, Oh oh I should run while I can. Oh yeah, let me <laughs> Let me run away. No, no, no. 
No, 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 no. That's uh, not how it's working, is it? Right, okay, excellent. Thank you, Seven. These things can have unusual power. Oh, undead Be now. Wary. Of all things. Need to um switch out Shale's weapon briefly. Guess we'll go fire. Very curious that the uh, undead and darkspawn would be buddies. Well, not buddies, but at least wouldn't attack each other. Armor of the Legion. Yeah, chunky, uh, chunky boy armor. The Archdemon is a gigantic meanie poo head. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll, that's not too much of a spoiler off you. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, if you ask, ask that question of me, what my uh, thought of it was, I think that's probably what I would have guessed. First day they come and catch everyone. Big pardon? That wasn't any of us who said that. Pretty sure. Second day, they beat us and eat some from me. Fifth day, they return and they say another thing. Sixth day, her screams beat me. Seventh day, she blew as in her mouth she spilled. Yes, that's uh, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah, spiders again. Working with the dark spawn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, spiders stuffing us in the corner there. I hope Morgan finished doing a heal. There we go. I don't apologise, is just get back up on it. Ah, because there's two of the little bastards. There you go. Look at Spidey going. Good job, Spidey. Task is finished. It, it is over. I heard some voices. I did indeed. Seven, it seemed like it. I thought there was somebody there, but there was nobody there. Uh, and as none of the companions have commented on it, I guess that was just us hearing things. Which is, uh, you know.
How curious. Night is a blank and devours her kin. Ninth day she grins and devours her kin. Okay, yeah, it was and I I think catch all the lines, but it was like first day something, second day this. Oh, fleshy sack. Nice. <laughs> now she does feast as she's become the beast. Right. Got some serial killer type thing going on here. First day they come. Oh, here we go. Catch everyone. Hespith. Second. So we weren't hearing things. Is this person here? Some crazy dwarf. Oh wow! What is this? A human? Landon, unlikely. <laughs> Feeding time brings only kin and clan. I am cruel to myself. You are a dream of strangers' faces and open doors. Is this darkspawn corruption? It looks different. Yeah. I'm a dream. I can help you. You've been forced to eat your kin. What the hell? Let's just stare at her. You're suffering from a high fever. Her skin is pale and she's covered in dark blotches. First day they come and catch everyone. What is that chant? It's what I've seen. What I will become. I forced it into verse so it is fantasy. Unreal. That's the only place I can hide. Because they make me. They make me eat. And then... All I could do was wish Laren went first. I wished it upon her so that I would be spared. But I had to watch. I had to see the change. How do you endure that? How did Bronca endure? What change? What are they doing? What they are allowed to do. What they think they must. And Bronca, her lover and... I could not turn her. Forgive her. But no. She cannot be forgiven. Not for what she did. Not for what she has become. Yeah, a lover in the dark. No wonder she left Auckland. <laughs> um, yeah, what did she do? What did Bronca do? I, I will not speak of her. What she did, of what we have become, I will not turn. It's I will not become what seems I like some seen. straight event horizons Aaron, kind of stuff got on. Bronca. Okay, all right, and she runs off. Wow. Okay. Well, didn't really explain much there, apart from some seriously weird thing has gone down. Um. Wait, maybe a result of the dark spawn, but maybe something else more weird. I don't know. Hard to hard to tell at this juncture. Regardless, we're gonna press on. That's all we can do. She became obsessed. That is the word. The dark spawn has sensed us. Oh, right, a big boy. Tried to escape, but they found us. Turned us. Okay, now we've got some non aggressive ghosts right here. Legion of the Dead Relic. Okay. Okay, something to look at. Alright, that's fine. Legion of Legionnaire or Altar. Oh, ooh. Helm of the Legion. Okay, cool. And the Legionnaire key. Ah. Locks door in Bon Bonemar. Okay. I guess that's a place we're we'll going soon, maybe. Hmm. 
Hmm. More enemies ahead. Oh, oh, okay, so we stole their thingy. <laughs> They're like, oh, hey, no, now, now we're attacking you. We must. I believe we did by surviving the battle. Well, wow, sorry to fight the dwarven ghosts, but we are we are thieves, so we need to steal things, don't we? That's what we do. Um. Oh, the ogres. Yeah, yeah, it's very scary. There you go. There's another one. It's, yeah, it's very scary when you first fight them. Now we've, like, leveled up that much more. It's like... You know I mean? <laughs> it's like uh, many uh, lesser enemies are more of an issue than uh, one chonky boy. Uh, I'll, I think once we've actually done with everything awesome are, got freaking uh, Balin, his bloody crown, his throne, and then... He can pledge his some pretty his troops to us. I might even go back to um, Haven to try and fight the dragon uh, before we go to see the uh, Circle of the Magi. Finish. I might be able to handle it. Ah, so we had to get that key. Okay. They took less time. They made her eat the others. Very well. Does, if somebody's been making the dwarfs, we go straight cannibal by the sounds of it. Which is not good. At all. Especially. And while she ate, she grew. Right, that's this dead cast insignia. A uh, dwarven coat of arms with old ancestral ties. A new, f a new field suggests that its bearer intended either to join with the old house or create a new one. Okay. She swelled and Fair turned grey. That's not good. What? Brood mother. Brood mother? Are they turning, somehow turning dwarfs into uh, Darkspawn? Private documents. Household accounts and expenditures. Oh, that's just the sell to merchants. Okay. Here we go. Let's find out what the bloody hell is going on. What? That's Bronca there. This ain't no dark. Is this dark spawn here? Is this like a, a mother dark spawn? Or is this some? Is this not dark spawn? Is this something completely, completely different? But wow. Now I'm a fan of boobs, but there's uh, there's exceptions to the rule. Do you know what I'm saying? Wow, yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Ew. Are we supposed to, uh... Get the tentacles, maybe. Okay. The spiders got stuck with those over there. Yeah, it's dark spawn, isn't it? How how very strange. Now the dark spawn gonna keep coming, that's the thing. Do I need to just focus down her? Oh. 
seems like we don't want to just, uh, just run into range like that. <laughs> um, this is uh, pretty pretty full on and crazy. Uh, I'm just going to switch something on Morrigan. Uh, rather than uh, popping a uh, health poultice, we're fine with a uh, heal there on it because we can do ourselves. What we're going to do is change self. Uh, mana or stamina level below uh, of the uh, fifty percent, and get it to start automatically using these uh, lyrium potions. Oh, Jesus, Louisus. Did we kill it? Oh my god. I don't think you could kill that thing enough. That's where they come from. That's why they hate us. That's why they need us. That's why they take us. That's why they feed us. What? But the true abomination is not that it occurred, but that it was allowed. Branca. The stone has punished me, dream friend. I am dying of something worse than death. Betrayal. What? Yeah, a bit, a little bit like that, Sphinx. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're walking, walking on the bloody thing. I would, um, I would chop that thing up a little bit more, honestly. I'm just saying. Anyway. Uh, oh, we've got a rock knocker helm. Effort. Okay, yeah, we've already got that one there, I think. Ring of select. Mm, nature damage, okay. Nothing too crazy exciting. But seemingly we've killed it. So this thing sp spawns dark spawn. This isn't the only thing, right? I don't know. And what's it got to do with Bronco and, uh, and everybody else? Again, not too sure. Okay, let's have a look around the back here. Okay, it's, it's nothing. Okay. How very disturbing. That's like something out of Doom or Quake or... Uh, you know, that's, that's not... Uh, I wasn't expecting that. I've, I've completely forgotten that thing. It was a thing. There you go. Good to, good to, uh, good to be reminded. Right, yeah. And what was... Uh, what's her face jibber-jabbering jib jib about again? Uh don't know. Alright, so that... Oh, here we go. Okay. So, yeah, the dead trenches. How disturbing. Anvil of the Void is taking us right there. Okay. Over there. Fair enough. Yeah, indeed. If she's still alive, Seven. If, if she's still alive. Like, Excuse me. What the bloody hell happened? What was... Just like seriously, like what? I guess it explains why they've been gone for like two years. It, it wasn't just like some, uh, yeah, some weird stuff went down. Ah, uh, okay, we've been forced to take Ogren with us here. Okay, um, so we definitely want uh, Morrigan for heals. Um. Yeah, I think Ogryn's more of a um, like a, 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 a damage output guy than a tank kind of warrior. So we'll take Shale to yeah. keep tanking, and we'll just go that low for a bit. I probably want to set up some uh, tactics for him though. Let me be blunt with you. After all this time, oh hello. My tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother. This is Bronco. You, Shave my back and call me an elf. Bronca, by the stone, I barely recognized you. Ogryn, it figures you'd eventually find your way here. Yeah. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. No. And how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? 
perhaps the only one who didn't mind Ogryn's ale breath. Be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important errand boy, then. Yeah, so I'm a very important errand Something boy. Something serious has happened. <laughs> Is Endrin dead? That seems less likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. Uh, old and wheezy side, my god. Um, how do you know I'm not just helping Ogryn? Well, uh, let's not lie. Uh, yes, his heir, Balin, seeks your support to become king. Um, yeah, he is dead. Um, defend against the blight. Yeah, that's, uh, more to the point. The king won't defeat a blight. We've had 40 generations of kings. And lost everything. No, but I need troops. The king's not going to fight to defeat the blight. We are, lady. But we need more troops. That's the only reason we're here. I don't care if the assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. No, neither do I. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world, is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. The anvil of the void. The means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first arch demon ever to rise. It's here. So close I can taste it. Okay. <laughs> Balin would change things. Move all some off. Oh, no, screw Balin. I don't give a damn about Balin. He's, a, he's an absolute dick. Um, sounds like you could use some help, but of course there's a catch. There's always a catch. Always. The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Keradin himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. I've given up everything and would sacrifice anything to get the anvil of the void. Does that include Hespis and the others of your house? Yes. What happened? Uh, you're obsessed. That must be why Caradin sealed it away. That sentence doesn't even make sense. That's not, but anyway, uh, <laughs> why chase the impossible and your people need you now? Um, yeah, I want to know what the hell happened. Enough questions. If you wish me to get right, well. through this imbecilic election, I must first have the anvil. There's only one way out, Warden. Forward. Through Keridan's maze, and out to where the anvil waits. That's fine. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute and see her brilliance. I am your paragon. Yeah, therefore do as you're told, basically. <laughs> Right, okay, um, let me get, uh, let me check Ogren's gear and, uh, all the rest of it. Alright, he has got to level up. He's level 16. Um, so first let me see if we've got any good or better gear we can give him. Right, they're all war axes, one handed. The Forge Master's Hammer. Hmm. Eh, I like the battle axe a little bit better, I think. More damage, more crit chance. Well, it's armor penetration, though. But overall, we don't have any runes to put in it anyway. Okay, so I'm happy with his, uh, his weapon. Well, let's see what armor we can give him, if anything. Oh, he's not wearing a bloody helm. Are you serious? Let's get that right on, right on him straight away. <laughs> oh, what about the rock knocker? Physical resistance. Yeah, let's go that instead. Um, all right, let's have a look at his gloves. I was, yeah, I'll just say that like, in case he's not strong enough to wear those. Although those, those would be pretty damn good for him. All those. Okay, that's fine. All that. Aha! Effort. We can give him effort. Yeah, a lot more, a lot of fatigue, but uh, it's seemingly worth it. What else have we got? I think that's everything. Okay, so he's uh, he's basically geared. 
One for the ditch. That's all right. Plus one constitution and physical resistance. <laughs> awesome. Um, oh, you know what? I think I've got a bunch of stuff to be giving him, actually. By my ancestors, this is a wonderful gift. He liked that. He liked the booze. I think he's all about the booze, I think is the idea. By my ancestors, this is a wonderful gift. That looks fine indeed, Lucas. <laughs> that looks yes. fine Yes, alcohol. Indeed, Straight to Ogren. Uh, <laughs> uh, can I... Yeah, I don't know about the artwork. Um, holy symbol. Um... Demon figurine. I don't know about any of that. Uh, maybe Morrigan? Interesting. No, she's not into demons, is she? What about, what about a portrait, Morrigan? Oh, she's so awkward. She's, just, she's so awkward. She doesn't like anything. She's, she's just not into it. Anyway. Right, that's, uh, that's in geared up. Let's check his... Uh, ta let's get some tactics set up. Okay. Um, yes. Activate powerful. Right, I should probably look at his um, actual abilities first. That'll make more sense. Um, right, so don't want uh, a threaten. It, that's kind of pointless because uh, that's like his tank ability. We do want um, Berserk on at all times. Uh, indomitable. Slight increase to attack damage or being immune to knockback and knockdown. Right, yeah, that's probably want that. Um, and powerful swings. Right, okay. At least we've got 200 strength. Okay, that's cool. Uh, bonus to damage, but uh, attack and defense penalty. So it seems worth it. Okay, so as long as we've got those three uh, activated on him, we're all good, basically. Which, uh... It seems like it might be alright. Okay, so uh, let's have a look. Uh, right, self. Any. Uh, activate mode. Uh, indomitable. Let's move that up there. Um, self health under fifty. Pop a uh, health poultice, please. We'll see that at the top. That's the number one priority. Uh, and I figure the uh, the rest he can just uh, we can just leave you know. Not, uh, there we go. So we've just got enemy, any, uh, attack. That's fine. Um, probably put these in a little bit better order. I should do. Save. Excellent. So he should be good to go in whatever I need him to do. You can uh, you can contribute now, right? Okay, so yeah, we didn't really get any answers out of Bronco, and she seemed like a bit of a bitch, honestly. But clearly, she is obsessed, and she's kind of got a point. So she's looking for this anvil of the void. She believes, oh my god, trying to fall down there. She believes that um, once you they rediscover the anvil of the void, and uh, they can put it into uh, you know, can make make it work, or whatever it does. They use it to create golems. Now, she's got a point, hasn't she? If you can f find the lost technology or ability to create golems, then you kind of like, you instantly one up, aren't you? You know. That's like a thing you should definitely be doing. And her point is th kings and politics, and that doesn't matter. I don't matter. If we can reclaim this power uh, for the, um, you know, for. Uh, Yeah, you could have, wasn't you? Uh, 
if she can reclaim that power for uh, the dwarfs, then that's worth sacrificing anything for. I mean, I don't know if it's worth sacrificing anything, but I totally uh, I get a point. Moreover, if we help her, maybe we can borrow a golem or two, help with the dark spawn. Obviously, not no one ever replaced shale, but you know what I'm saying. Great. You're not great. Okay, sure. Yeah, do as you told, mate. Tell me. Um. Okay, there we go. I think we're good to go. I need a deep. So they've been out here for two years trying to get through here. Pledge to be my pals, and they didn't want to help. They tried to leave me, even my Hespis. But even she couldn't understand that when you reach for greatness, there are sacrifices. As many sacrifices as are needed. Right, I mean... I guess. You will learn to fear me. That's something else I want to do on Ogren. Let's push it out. Um, yeah, change his behavior uh, to aggressive. So he's not hanging around. He's just straight, getting there straight away. So it seems like, uh, oh, oh, sorry, got some more, uh, missed those guys. <laughs> oh. Wow, just, where, where are they going? Where are they, what's the AI doing? <laughs> Random. Um. So it seems like uh, Hespeth was like yeah, uh, Bronca's lover by the sounds of it. That's, that's a... Pledge to me. She swore she'd do whatever it took to find the anvil. There was no other choice. Most of them were dying of the taint already. But some, some of the women were transformed. I knew what they would become. There would be an endless supply, fresh dark spawn to test the traps. They could still serve me. Let me find the anvil. It was the only way. Sorry, what? Okay, so it's, here's what it sounds like. <laughs> it sounds like they ran out of food and they resorted to eating Darkspawn. Now, we know what happens when you do that. Uh, and it sounds like if you eat enough Darkspawn, you could potentially turn into one of those broodmothers. And Bronca seemingly let that happen and encouraged that because then she's like, oh, now we can just use the... Now we've got an extra dark spawn to send into the traps. What the bloody hell? Did I get that right, Seven? That sounds insane. So, Bronca, you're insane. Basically, that's, that's, in, that's insanity. To, to encourage that. It's like one thing if you're like, I'm about to starve to death, so I'm going to eat a little bit of uh, darkspawn meat. I would probably maybe go without it, personally, but... Oh, I don't know what that was. We got some lyrium, but... A little celebration there. But, um... Actually getting to the point where, yes, eat more! You'll turn into some monstrosity. And, and spawn some darkspawn. It's like, what? No, it's not... The anvil's not worth that.
Wow, okay, so here's the thing. Begging to die. They had pledged me their loyalty. They have no right to fight me. What? They say your order is renowned for its wits as well as its brawn. Perhaps you'll do better than my poor clansmen. There's something about this place. Makes people despair. No doubt. You know what, Bronco? You're a bit of a bitch. So here's what, on, here's what the plan is. I don't know if we can make this come to pass. We're gonna... We have to press on, anyway. Uh, and look for the anvil. I don't know what... How this is gonna play out back in Orzammar with Balin. You know what I mean? Can't really... Because he wants us to find Bronco. We found her. We want. He wants us to take her back and, be lo and get her to pledge her support to him. She doesn't care. She, she literally doesn't care. Could we somehow find the anvil and basically just kind of yoink just take it for the grey wardens like this, you know oh the anvil is void this is ours now this is our this is ours now but screw you you stupid dwarfs you're all a pain in the ass i thought the freaking elves were bad you guys are a pain in the ass uh we shall see uh <laughs> yeah well that's the thing balen says if she won't pledge in fact not just leave her but take her out basically which i'm not gonna murder her but now i wasn't gonna murder her but now i'm like i don't know because it's like she's a bit of a psycho basically anyway get some willpower for your uh, morrigan and uh get some more tactics a lot for you uh what we got what we got my dear what, what, what have we get for you and there's a few things i was looking at wasn't there Ah, this is what death siphon. New another activated ability. Uh, so sorry, sustained ability. Uh, draws in nearby entropic energy, uh, draining residual power from any dead enemy nearby to restore the caster's mana. So if we in the middle of a battle, she's going to get mana regen basically. So yeah, I like the idea of I like the sound of that. All right, so Morgan, we're going to go self any. Action, activated mode, death siphon. I don't think it matters which order I put these in. Just in case she's running low. Oh, I got no gravwing. Oh dear. Really? I'm getting punched in the ribs. Wow, he died to punch me in the ribs. I hope it was worth it, buddy. Where are you going, lads? More lyrium. Yeah, what, what's that doing for us? Is that. I don't know what's going on with that, honestly. <laughs> Should I be poking it with, like, Morrigan or somebody else? I mean. Oh my god. Seriously? I'm just trying to wait my way through the area and just pick up the uh pick up the treasure and whatnot. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Um
Oh, the treasure. Where are they? Yes. But yeah, I don't know. It, it does anything in particular. However, everyone would. Weird. Okay, all right, I see. So it's not important. Just because it's there, I feel like they need to click it. Do you know what I mean? All right, I got golems here. Oh, jeez. What was... Oh, here we go. one at least they're, they're fighting us one at a time that's uh that's considerate of them I think all this green mist is like poisonous gas, honestly. Oh, there you go, gas valve. Close the valve. And that one. Any more? Oh, we got it. Excellent. Good if I'd known that before, but, you know, I didn't. So, anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, that's the way we entered from, isn't it? Wasn't sure. I just it's when afterwards I was like, oh, we're taking a. Oh, can I not go through that? Yeah, unless we these doors open on the way back, maybe. Never mind. Luna, how are you doing today, Luna? Are you all right? Hello to you. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Luna. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, we we've been and cleared out that area. And I was like, oh, let's try find the dragon. No, we got we got smashed. We have leveled up a lot since then. So once we've uh, dealt with Orzammar, one way or another, that's going to be the next thing that we do. I think I feel confident now, but um, who knows? I'll have to wait and see. But how you doing, Luna? You're right. Yeah, don't worry if that dragon killed you. It's, I unless you say that to like near the end of the game, I think it's going to kill you. Um, yeah. I mean, when. When I fought it, um, when we are like 10 levels lower than we are now, we got it like a third dead, but then it just kind of annihilated us. Any more traps? Oh, oh, hello, hello. Oof. Snapped around. one down damn chunky boys now if I were right you would think a sword wouldn't do any damage to them yeah imagine if you have a sword now imagine uh, smashing it into uh, the floor a stone floor you're not gonna do too much damage are you As you, say. you know what I'm saying it's a bit like that. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's definitely not just you, Luna. And I'm sure there's some, like, super elite gamers who can do it at low level. And now, oh, look how good I am. And it's like, well, you know, not everybody's like that, are they? I'm certainly not. I'm just trying to enjoy myself. You know, video games are for, for having fun, not, you know, you know, trying to flex how good you are, I feel. I know, you know, people are into, like, speed runs and world records and all that kind of jazz. I 
personally find it all very meaningless. You know, but you know, that's, that's just my opinion, isn't it? So yeah, just uh, just don't forget about it before we get to the end of the game. It would be satisfying to, you know, when you go back and uh, you can... Uh, oh my god. Oh no, Morrigan, don't die. Don't die, Morrigan. You need to get out of there, don't you? You need to pop your... Okay, I know what the problem is here. She's, um... On her tactics, we've run out of no normal crappy potions. I didn't mean to move that to junk, did I? Why have I moved to junk? No, no, no. Move from junk, there we go. Um, there we go. Oh, uh, I wish we got Lyrian potions. He's just getting stunned, maybe. Yeah, she's stuck on attacking here. I can only assume. Yeah, we're all out of normal, uh, lesser Lyrian potions. But I always thought that, um... I always thought that uh, when you run out of like normal potion, you d it empties that slot there. Um, so yeah, if we just do normal Lyrian potion, she'll be right. <laughs> she was reluctant to heal herself. Well, <laughs> right, yeah, for the AI in the, the first Dragon Age can be. Um, a little bit, you know, a little bit, uh, not that great, you know. <laughs> it's fine though. Um, yeah, no, and there's nothing wrong with that, Luna. I, uh, when I was achievement hunter, I'd definitely play on like hard settings, and it depends on the game. Like if I play uh, Doom, I'm gonna play on ultra violence, you know, because I feel that you get the most out of the game. But a game like Dragon Age RPGs, it's about the characters and the story, isn't it? The gameplay. It's typically secondary. I guess it depends on the RPG, but um, uh, but yeah, I I I usually go normal, whatever the normal is. Um, is is, it, uh, is that right, Seven? Okay. Uh, be right back. You hope? Yeah, I hope you be right back as well. Let's, I hope so. Anyway, let's keep going. I've done on time. Oh, it's still got like just under two hours. You know, short streams better than no stream. Oh my god, look at all the lyrium. <laughs> Izzy's like, Rah, yeah. I'm not doing anything. Is this the anvil? Oh. Hello. What's this? Oh my god, we're fighting this thing. I shall do it. As I say. All right, chunky forgotten spirits. Namara. I don't think we can attack it, can we? Whatever, whatever it is. I don't even know what it is. Oh, Spirit Anvil. Oh, that's doing damage to it. Okay, all right. We've just got to let the kids do their thing. And I'll do some of that. And some of that. go ah yes yeah, definitely he's doing, definitely doing something to it Stunned. 
Yeah, okay, this is interesting. Yeah, 500 damage is whacking it with. Which, again, I don't know uh, how many times we've got to do that, but... happy dance okay what was this was this is this the anvil there's anvils around it and it it's a weird thing that attacked us i've uh, seen to have destroyed it defeated it i don't whatever i don't know okay so that's the exit let's have a little look around you know oh inventory's finally full of all the things um Right, have we got any uh, gifts we can just quickly uh, give to somebody? Uh, I'm to keep this, am I? Fine. Fine. Yeah, Shay, we'll just take it. Curious. If Monday. Yeah, I'm not surprised the dwarfs can get back something like that. Right, I might need to start chucking away stuff that's not very valuable. It is. There's a lot of healing potions in there. That's good. Not potion. Poultices. I just, you know, potion for me is a catch-all term. Oh, what is going on here? Right, more golems. Oh, it's a, it's a metal golem. My name is oh. Carradin. Oh! Carradin is a golem? A metal golem? I just assumed Carradin was a dwarf. Okay. Never mind. Revelation. Longer ago than I care to think, I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzo. Oh, so he used to be a dwarf. What? what? Carradin, the paragon smith. Alive. There is a voice I recognize. Chair of the House of Kadash, step forward. Beg pardon? You know my name. Is it you that forged me then? Is it you that gave me my name? Have you forgotten then? Uh. Ah, it has been so long. Oh dear, what? I made you into the Gala you wow. call me, But before that you were a dwarf, just as I was. Oh. The finest warrior to serve King Valtor, and the only woman to volunteer. The only woman? A dwarf? I laid you on the anvil of wow, the revelations. In very room and put you into the form you now possess. Right, so, wow, oh my god, this is almost too much to again. Uh, <laughs> so, making golems, it seems to be... You take take someone's life spirit essence and put them into the stone or metal golem, and that shale underwent that process to become a golem. Uh, it was done by Caradin, and shale used to be a female dwarf. How intriguing! A fine warrior as well. Of the void. That is what we seek. 
If you seek the anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed to relive it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very intrigued. Spare me, I need the anvil to bargain with Bronca. So you want something? Everyone does. <laughs> Yeah, I wanna I wanna hear about this. You made the anvil, so take I made it. many things in my time. I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item. The anvil of the void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone, as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible. But I told no one the cost. No mere smith. However skilled, has the power to create life. To make mm. my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. Uh, a dire shortcut. Was it worth it? Uh, sounds like blood magic. A dangerous road. Mm, maybe. Maybe it's blood magic. Ten feet tall and invulnerable. I think of worse fates. <laughs> um... Let's uh, not. Let's not judge or encourage. Let's just uh, get to the truth. A dire shortcut. Was it worth so it? Yeah. I had only Were you forcing people against their will? And be always ah, maybe that's what we're referring to. Who's got? Hey, yo, who wants to step up and be a golem? And most people are like, oh yeah, I'll be a better fighter, but also you know I like being flesh and blood. Interesting. Shale stepped up. Oh, so he forced people into it. Oh my god. Finally, it was too much. I refused, and so Lautor had me put on the end next. Oh my god. So you sealed it away. Orzammar could use it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it sounds like you earned this. What now? Do you want revenge? No. Yeah. Apprentices knew enough to make me as I am, but not enough to fashion a control rod. I retained my mind. Mm. You were amongst the most loyal, Shale. You remained at my side throughout, and at the end, I sent you away out of mercy. I do not remember. We have remained entombed here ever since, and I have sought a way to destroy the end. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. Oh. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! Shut up, Bronco. You fought to destroy the anvil once. Do not allow it to fall into unthinking hands again! Yeah, no. Our, our hands. I do not remember. You say we fought. Did you use our control rods to command us to do so? I destroyed the rods. Perhaps my apprentices eventually learned to replace the rods. I do not know. But if so, then all they need is the anvil to make all the slaves they need. You, please, help me destroy the anvil. Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has. But we want it. <laughs> uh... You were a paragon. I'll help if you support a new king. Yeah, I mean, uh, would he go for that? I needed to bargain with Bronca. I won't. See, bargaining chip, it's like. Dwarfs, help. I'll, be, I'll take it from the top. Hey, yo, dwarfs, we have a piece of paper here that says you need to help us in the blight. You are obligated to. Yes, but we can't do that until we have a king. Okay. How do we get a king? Well, that's not going to be resolved until. You know, anytime soon, unless you take sides and help out. Okay, Balin will help you. What do you need? Oh, I need you to do this little errand for me. Okay. What? Are we good now? Oh, I need you to go and kill the criminal underbelly of the city. Okay. Are we good now? Oh, I need you to go into the deep roads and find the Paragon Bronca, who's not been seen in two years, and you have to find her. Make sure she will uh, pledge you know, her support to me. And if not, I want you to kill her. Okay. And now here we are. Uh, Athelene, thank you for the stretch. 
These dwarfs are doing my bloody head in. Oh, revelations on Chael, though. I don't think uh, Carradine's lying about this. He doesn't seem like he's got any reason to lie. Oh, oh dear. Oh. <sighs> oh. And Bronca's like, oh, it's kind of like, she doesn't care. So if we were to give her the anvil, she would probably support whoever, if we helped her, she would probably support whoever. So in our long-winded, convoluted line of the dwarfs being pains in the ass, we could take the anvil and give it to Bronca, and then we've presumably got what we need. But is that true? Uh, if we try, if, it makes it less se sexy if we're talking about Bronca. What do you mean? What does? Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> it makes it less sexy. <laughs> it's not that sexy anyway, is it? Is it? I don't know. Uh, sorry. I've got... got a... Oh! Oh, uh, oh, 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 uh. There you go. How's that? Uh, <laughs> um, right, okay. Choices. Uh, does that do the job? Excellent, Af. <laughs> um, okay. So, no, nobody knows that Carradine exists. He's like a legendary paragon. Now, he's in the Gollum. We could bring him back to um, Awesome Art and be like, here's a paragon. And everyone's going, oh, my God, it's Carradine. And if we and if Carradine's like yes, Balin should be king, then he's probably gonna be king. Um, so that I needed to bargain with Bronca. I won't. Uh, I won't make golems. Um, which I guess he doesn't want, but Bronca will though. Why should I let your guilt inconvenience me? Um, so he wants it destroyed. Yeah. So the idea is you can become a, you make a golem. By someone going, yes, I will sacrifice my life to become a golem. But obviously, you know, you need willing participants. And obviously what happened in the past was people were forced into it, including Caradin himself. Um, Red Mage! Ow! Ow! Hey, you doing, sir? You all right? I hope you're well, buddy. How's your, how's your Sunday, sir? We got started a bit later today, Red Mage, but... Um, We've just got an hour and a half in us. Um, so I like the, the idea of this more. Uh, I'm sure Balin won't give a flying fizzle if we come back with Bronca in support, or better, arguably better yet, Caradin in support, because he's like more legendary, isn't he? I'm good. I'm good, sir. I'm good. Um, sh shame we're at the short stream, but it is what it is. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, yeah, let's go for that. Screw Bronca. She's a crazy person. I don't care about the Anvil of the Void. I mean, if we could make golems, that would be cool. But if we have to enslave people and, you know, human, you know, you know, human, but entity sacrifice them, you know, blood sacrifice them to, uh, you know, make them make the golems, then that feels like not a right thing to do. Don't listen. He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Wow. Hot. Kettle black. Bronca. Caradin might have been you know, here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness, so you say. You've been here stewing in your own madness for two years. Does that make him more mad than you? Because he's been here longer. You ate you ate Darkspawn. And you forced your soul your house to eat Darkspawn. And you did it on purpose to, you sac yeah, you sacrificed all of your house and all of your people and all your retainers to try and get the anvil. <laughs> he does look like he's the business. No, he's um he's an, he's a paragon called Caradin uh, from a thousand years ago, who was uh made into a golem. He looks like a bad man, doesn't he? Um, 
Ja, super geil, wenn du mir weiter machst. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen. Franka, you mad, bleeding nugtail. Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn fume? The anvil will let us take back our glory. You're right, it's too powerful not to keep. <laughs> uh. Uh, the anvil enslaves living souls. It must be destroyed. Um. I, uh... Oh, excuse me. Oh. Um. <sighs> I would love to have keep the anvil. I can't just... And what we're going to do, like, round up Darkspawn. Make Darkspawn into... Golems. And then we've got all these control rods. We need because if you, it's one thing if you have um, you know, a golem like Caradin or Shale who has their free will, they can just do what they want. And then if you become buddies with them, then of course they help you out like any other living creature. But any other golem who doesn't want to be a golem and you make them become one and you sacrifice their life to stick them in this stone creature, you need a control rod. Uh, and then like you know, so you're gonna, so we're gonna do capture Darkspawn. It's bad. Well, it's not bad enough for us to fight them, but for most people, it's bad enough to fight Darkspawn. Capture them alive, drag them all the way here, and be like, "Yo, make here go Bronco, make this." And does it even work with Darkspawn? And even if and if it doesn't, or if we're not going to do that, we can do just be like, "Yo, hey dwarfs, come here. The Paragon Bronco wants you for a special project." Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. We're not make you into a golem you don't get any choice about it. it sounds it sounds like some uh kind of uh no good is going to come of it having an army of golems against the dark spawn would be amazing but i'm not about enslaving people i'll kill people who cross me i'm a bit of a mercenary yeah i'll you know i'll even kill people who annoy me I'll, uh, I'll refuse to help people who are, you know, I don't want to, but uh, taking a living creature and, put, and enslaving them, you know, taking their body from them and giving them a new body, which, you know, in some ways is superior, in some ways there's disadvantages, definitely, but making an actual slave out of them, uh, and not a slave as in you're chained up and I'm going to beat you if you don't do what I say, you, uh, you, you, you are... You have no con you have literally no control. You have to do as you're told. You're like a puppet. No, we uh yeah. The the anvil enslaves living souls, it must be destroyed. So it fights with Caradin? Good. That seems right. Have you no desire to discover this anvil's potential? It is a marvel, a tool of creation. Yeah, Morrigan. You rival the maker himself with this instrument. Well the maker didn't exist, you Morrigan. The anvil, I swear you will regret it. Now, suppose I will get it. Uh, persuasive as always. Our course is too important to lose it, yeah. Or we should persuade... Would you like to become a golem? Because that's what we need, Morrigan. It only has any effect if we have willing participants who are like, Yes! I'll become a golem! Uh, yeah, Morrigan, she is very sus. You would not dare. Exactly! <laughs> wouldn't I if I cared only for power? Uh, <laughs> how do you know? Uh, wouldn't you like to become a big stone machine? Because <laughs> that's what you're saying, Morrigan. Yeah, exactly. Wouldn't I if I uh, cared only p for power? I would rather not find out. Fine. Destroy it if it pleases you. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion. Plus, I kind of want this guy on my side rather than the crazy lady. <laughs> You're not the only master smith here, Caradin. Golems, obey me! Attack! Oh, wow, okay. My friend, you must help me. I cannot stop her alone. Certainly. All right, well. 
Yeah, Ogwen's like, no! Oh, jeez. Yeah, it looks like uh, she's used that control rod to uh, take care of them all, by the looks of it. Like, control them and shut down a caradin. Oh, no, we've got one. Oh, we've got some friendly golems not with us. Even though caradin's out of it. Oh, they've been deaded, though. <laughs> nice. Wow, she's, she's chonky girl, his bronco. Sorry, Ogwen, that we've got to kill your missus. She cheated on you, though, mate. So, I mean... I don't know if that makes you feel any better. She dead. She deaded. She's bones now. I don't feel bad. Wow, nice mace. Nice shield. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Uh, hopefully, we can... Uh, it oh, the Golem Registry. You see a large stone tablet chipped with age and a great number of dwarf runes, uh, dwarven runes carved into the surface. Examine. The writing is in dwarven and appears to be a long list of names, each with the stamp of their house next to them. We recognise a few of the house names. At the bottom of the list of words, we honour those who made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. Except they weren't remembered, were they? Um, the carvings are still deep enough that a tracing could be taken, allowing the information to be carried elsewhere. Um, Shale, do you recognise? So this is the list of the all the dwarfs, presumably, the names of them, who were made into golems. No. Perhaps it thinks I should. It may have something to do with Caradin's words. Indeed. If there is some way to make a copy of these runes, I am willing to study them. Perhaps there is something to be gleaned from them. I know not. Ogwen, sleepy nice. Uh, uh, names. Long list of dwarves. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Uh, we honor who have made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. Fart me a lullaby. It's a memorial of all the dwarves who became golems. Has to be. Yeah, that's what I thought. If there was some way of getting this back to the Shaper at Norzimar, I bet they'd brown their trousers. And Brown their trousers, I'm like, <laughs> lovely. Both. Yeah, well, you know, let's take a tracing of it. Into, into a stack of paper, which you store in your pack. All right, nice. New quest, Golem Registry. Um, be with you in a second there, uh, Caradin. Just uh, collecting the remains. Is this, is this the anvil up here? Ooh, chest. Right, inventory's full. Okay. Let's do a level up first. Right, uh, is. We're going to uh, wrap up your strength there, my dear. I'm going to give you some uh, expert survival. And what? what's next? Uh, passive. Um... Hmm, stamina regen when you fell in any with a backstab. Kind of, kind of good. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. Just to finish it off. Right, I've probably got to throw some junk some stuff um junk the ancient treaties on it doesn't it <laughs> uh this is probably a good thing yeah i'll plot items you won't doesn't let you get rid of any of this um 
I want to chuck any of those gems or any runes either. Um, can we make use of that ring? It's not even that good, is it? I guess we'll just give it to Ogren. Okay, let's get rid of these helms. Because they're don't seem that useful. Or wor worth that. We're going to sell them all anyway, just to make some space. Um, medium silver bar. I can only imagine we give that to Ogren. Because he's probably into his like, metal and stuff. It'll do. No, nah, I wasn't into it. <laughs> he still likes it, though. Oh wow, the anvil glows like liquid metal from the Lyrium vein through it, with dark stains attest to its bloody past. It's built straight out of the stone of the floor. Trying to move it would require years to chip away at its base. Oh my god. Okay, well I'm not trying to move it anywhere, are we? Or use it. Anyway, let's uh, wait Caradin up and see what he reckons we should be doing now. Another life lost because of my Kill her. How is it that the woman was not able to disable me as she did you, Caradin? I do not know. Have you been altered? Hmm. I once had a pathetic little mage of a master. He did something to me, experimented on me, and then I killed him, and it rendered me paralyzed. Hmm. Perhaps he was bringing forth old memories and caused you to remember the time when. You fought at my side. The paralysis you speak of always resulted when the master perished. As for your free will, you were always a strong woman, Cher. I am pleased to see you remain such. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Indeed. Oh, do not thank me. All of this, this is my doing. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. <laughs> yes, excellent idea. Just destroy it now, after all this. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? Uh... Ogren, you lost Bronca to this. What do you want? Um, I need a paragon support to set an election. Uh, I'll thank you for anything your skill can add to my cause. I don't suppose you would make another golem. <laughs> uh, no, he's not going to do that, is he? Um, I feel bad for Ogren. But, uh, it was technically my decision, but it was, it was obviously the right decision, wasn't it? Just to cut to the chase. I need a power and support set on election. For the aid you've given me, I shall put hammer to steel one last time. Oh. And give you a crown for the king of your choice. There we go, that's one way of doing it. A crown made by uh Okay, so you can use the anvil of the void to make other things, I guess. A crown for Balin. Imagine if you had Haramont's name on it. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, so I thought you said Haramont. Oh, wow. That's uh, pretty yeah. extreme. It is done. Give it to whom you will. I do not wish to hear their names, nor anything more of them. I have already lived far beyond my time. I have no place here.
I will destroy the anvil as agreed. It's unfortunate the anvil can't be salvaged. Maybe we try that. Because we can't use it for its intended purpose, but maybe we can use it for something else. I, that was my great pride. And soon enough, my shame. But where will it go? You don't mean to. I do. I live to ensure that the anvil was never used again. Now it never shall be. We all must have an end. Is that going to break it? What the? Wow, we 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 super strong. <laughs> yeah, look, can't we take the bits it's made out of and and take them and do something with them? You have my eternal thanks. Oh wow, he's going straight to uh, Terminator too. Wow. Wowee, okay, well, that was that. Uh, sorry, Ogren, it, it kind of, uh, that's how it panned out, buddy. There we go, and I don't think we've uh, missed any locations. But who knows? I can't, okay, we can't, we have to get walk out of the area, we can't just, uh, Go from uh, the map there. Well, that pretty much beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? Um. No. For the assembly, I need to know as soon as possible. Let's go while a new king can still be of use to me. Uh, uh. Uh, it's not going to be antagonistic. Yes, to the assembly, let's go. Yeah, those Deshers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. There we go. Oh, so I think that's, uh... The extent of the deep roads. Lords of the Assembly, I call for order. This argument gets us nowhere. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now. My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Steward, but the Grey Warden has returned. Well, Warden, what news do you bring? Um... I bear a crown from Caradin for his chosen king. I bring a crown forged by Caradin on the Anvil of the Void. Um, I guess we're the first one. That obviously lends more weight to... We'll, cl we'll claim... Yeah. Uh, that's more of a lie. Isn't it? That's actually technically lying because Caradin was like, I don't give a blind fuck. I don't give a fuck. But I'll make this for you. So let's just be honest. We don't give a damn about these idiots I'm not being racist I'm not a problem with dwarfs in general it's just the the politics worse oh my god they're all so awful uh I'll bring a crown forged by Caradin on the anvil of the void Caradin was trapped in the body of a golem this warden granted him the mercy he sought releasing him and destroying the anvil of the void before he died Caradin forged a crown for Orzammar's next king Chosen by the ancestors themselves. I would like to believe Argren's word, but it's well known the Grey Warden is Balin's hireling. Silence! This crown is a paragon make. 
and bears House Hortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden, whom did Keratin choose? Please be honest. <laughs> Keratin chose Balin. <laughs> you could do a switcheroo at the last minute. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Balthier, how you doing? Anyway, uh, yes, Red Mage, you're off skis, buddy. Good to, good to see you, sir. We'll see you an, another day. Take care, Red Mage. Yeah, it's, they're doing my didn't know, Balthier. They're petty politics and backstabbing. That'll be a switcheroo on Balin. But, sorry, Balin. Uh, you know, I'm, you know, I was trying to help you out, buddy, but, uh, <laughs> but Caradin, he, he was all, he's down for Haramon. It's, I can't, oh. He put, oh, should have lied. He's a scumbag. Um, but yeah, this is interesting. Let's just be honest. He wished me to give it to whomever I chose. Uh, and this is technically true. Why would a paragon trust someone who knows nothing of us with such a decision? This is preposterous. We've argued in these chambers for too long. The will of a paragon is that the Grey Warden decide. That would be so hilarious if we did the switcheroo right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's not <laughs> Haramon, it'd be funny. Uh um I mean we can do the switcheroo. Uh it's up to you guys. Um so we only agreed to uh help Balin out. because uh, we had to help someone out. Um that was you guys decided that. Um So yeah, who should we give the crown to? Uh I mean, hilarious, though, if we did give it to Haramon, because he's like, oh, this is preposterous. We can't trust this person. I'm like, I'll give it to you. He's like, oh, oh, well, I guess it's it's not so preposterous now you've chosen me. <laughs> uh, lol. Right, we'll just do a quick uh, six seconds. It doesn't, I don't think it really matters. Obviously, um, you know, we're going to upset one person and the other person will be very happy. Um There we go, just put it on six seconds, whatever vote comes up with. There we go. Six seconds, go. So, um, we agreed to help Balin. He is the technical son of the previous king, uh, if that carries weight. Um, apparently, though, and it, my instinct tells me this is true, his dad didn't want his son being the king. And at the end of the day, we don't care as the Grey Warden. We just want your freaking troops, all right? Um... So do we go along and say Balin because we agreed we would help him? Or do we go, you know, actually screw you, Balin, you're a bit of a dick. Uh, not that Haramon's necessarily better. And uh, give it to Haramon. It's entirely up to you guys. Uh, guess we're coming to the end on this. I think we've got dragons fighting our near future. Oh, not you. Oh. Okay, there we go. Everyone's on a, a hard lurk at the minute. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just uh, for the lols, we'll, I'm going to go for the switcheroo. <gasps> I am somewhat surprised, Warden. Yeah. Previous predilections. But I am not ungrateful. Watch Balin pop off. <laughs> From what the hell? Yeah, it's probably give, oh, it gives an apology, buddy. <laughs> there. Yeah, their politics. I don't like them all. It's funny because I like their city. I like the idea of the deep roads and all the rest of it. Let the memories find you worthy. First amidst the lords of the houses, the king of Ottawa. I will not abide by this. Yep. The ancestors have spoken. Paramount is your king. Stand behind him. He's like, no! 
Ah, I got that betrayed, mate. Stand down, Balin, you've lost. Would you let a surfacer decide the fate of the dwarves? Watch out, they brought weapons. Oh, I uh, can off. Enemies approaching. Prince Balin. Screw you, son. I guess you get the same result if, uh, there you go, cut, cut him down, the scum. Uh, <laughs> I guess you get the exact same result if, uh, if you uh, choose, uh, Balin, regardless of what you've done previously. I did not think even Balin would defy the word of a paragon, nor that so many would follow him. But you would have done that, didn't you? If I'd not chosen you, Haramont, don't pretend you wouldn't. <laughs> Orzammar has seen him for what he really is, and I trust we will bring this insurgency under control. Um, I have faith in you. Show them you're a strong king and they will follow you. As long as it doesn't interfere with me getting my troops. So I know that's going to look a bit dickhead-ish to say that, but we're at the point where, look. Those loyal yeah. to the throne will begin preparations for a surface mission immediately. Orzammar will fulfill its treaties. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get to the palace and set our plans in motion. <laughs> I must return to my duties on the surface. Just make sure your army is there when I call for it. Don't I get a statue or something in my honour? Oh, the cheek of it. Um, I've got stuff to this do, mate. This is the staff I carried as King Endrin's second. Take it as a reminder of your place in Orzammar. I wish you luck against the Blight Warden. May we foster another four centuries of peace. Let's hope so. Um, the role in this election will long be remembered. <laughs> right, let's get a ma magic staff he gave us. Is that it? No, that's, uh, that's Bronca's uh, mate, wasn't it? Did it get... Oh, there we go. No. Ah, yeah, Haramont's staff. Is terrible. Bruh. I'm the king. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I mean. Oh, Prince Balin, what, what stuff did you have? Some potions. Okay. We resolved the dwarven issue. It was fun. It was fun. It's just the dwarfs themselves were a kind of very annoying lot. It's a nice idea. I like the. I do like the uh, the storyline for it though. Uh, and that you can kind of. Restored and legends put to rest. Him back. Incredible. If I'd heard it secondhand, I'd have called it a sodding lie. Warden, we've got a king because of you. The rest impressive, but the Legion is grateful most for restored leadership. It frees us to fight to the dark spawn properly. To fight to the darkspawn. You mean fight the darkspawn? Uh, I'm glad to throw this res. Also, I was lucky to have it. Can I count on you to fight the blight on my side? Hey, our place is down here. Ugh. When you break the blight and you've got the skill, we'll make sure they have nowhere to retreat. You'll have us indirectly. That's more than any surfacer can say. Fair enough. I'm not going to try and persuade him. It makes sense. Best of the vein to you, Grey Warden. Until the stones embrace. Indeed. Okay. Ah, the Shaper. We want to uh, give them these uh, this this etching, this this not etching, this tracing we did of the uh, all the people that died and got turned into golems. OK. 
Okay. Well, that was full or something. I got some of the water as well. I didn't know if you were ever coming back. Did you find any records? Any sign of the old Orton Tig? Yeah, so I've the records right here. Um, I've been to the Tig, but I haven't found anything yet. Uh, you know, if I find something, I have to move on. I can't help you anymore. You, you found them? Let me see. That's my great grandmother's name, and her husband's. Oh, great ancestors! It's them. It's me. I am an Orton. Oh, thank you. I have to take these to the assembly right away. Find me there. Once these are acknowledged, I'll give you any reward. A any reward, you say? <laughs> okay. Impressive work, Warden. King Haramont's impending coronation has been entered into the memories. Is there something more I can help you with? Uh, I have some tracings you might be interested in. What's this? A list of names. Most of these clans no longer even exist. Is this authentic? Yes. You bet your hairy arse it is. Taken from a tablet in Keridan's fortress, no less. Then is it true? The rumors of Keridan's so-called volunteers? Extraordinary. I would love to make a copy of this. The Shaferic has never had much information on Keridan and his golems, much less proof of this magnitude. Warden, I hope this artifact from our archives will suffice as a reward. I must inform the Shaferic at once. Artifact? What have you just given us? Not a weapon. Not armor, presumably. Master Lightning Room, maybe that's what you just gave us? I don't know. Okay, whatever, mate. Right, okay, so I guess we'll head back into the assembly and uh, meet up with what's her face. I assume she will have spoken to them in that short time. Orta, there you go. My name's Orta. After the old Orton house, they you know. gave our suite back, and the records show which houses still owe House Orton money. One day, I will be able to properly thank you for all you've done for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> continue supporting King Caramont. I don't care about your happiness is enough. Any money you could spare would help. And I don't know what treasure is left, but whatever I get, you can have as much as you want. I'll have to find someone willing to look. Maybe a whole expedition. If the tiger is still there, it must have something. House Orton will not forget this kindness. <laughs> Didn't that sound official? Yes. That gives us five gold. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. That's that's not it's no small amount. Really. Enemies approaching. Oh, Balin fanatics. Balin will not allow it. Balin dead, buddy. Balin deaded. Wow. More of the story. Don't be a fanatic. Oh, I can't take that bloody lyrium potion. That's a problem. Hmm. I have to make 25 potions, maybe? That's not actually going to help uh, give us an extra slot, though, because if we're taking up an extra slot, that's the only issue. You would like something? 
Yeah, so we'd like something. Uh, what should we throw away? Which is not very useful. Shock coating, maybe, is anyone? Well, I feel we're at the point where we can definitely probably buy lyrium potions. In fact, how about making our own? What do we need for that? Oh, I got lyrium dust. But, uh, lesser lyrium potion. There we go. Ah, and just flasks. Ah, excellent. Okay. Let's do that. We've got plenty of flasks. There we go. There we go. Lol, these guys, Lord Dace, we told him to support Balin and that Harrowmont had betrayed him. Now he's fully thinking, like, what the bloody hell? I don't know. We don't really, literally don't care at this point. <laughs> Silly dwarfs. Got, a, got an hour of stream. We'll, we need to get to the store, uh, sell a bunch of stuff. Then get out of Orzammar. When we do, we're gonna head back to Haven. We're gonna try and fight the High Dragon. Um, Garin is what we were looking for. I'm, I'm, I'm only asking because you never know. Right. Full weapon. I don't think it's. Uh, I didn't make too much use of it, though, unfortunately. I think we're going to save that and give that to Zevran. That we have no use for. Really. How on the staff is awful. All these shields, my god, literally all of them. Yeah, the rose's thorn. That's what I want. It's uh significantly better than uh overall than Duncan's dagger significantly. I I can't think what else we're gonna be buying. It may be the best uh You get one of those. Maybe the uh, the best dagger in the game, honestly. I'm going to just go for it. I'm also going to get that crystal for uh, shale, as it's uh, flawless. I don't think there's uh, anything there. Oh, a flawless fire crystal, eh? Um, yeah, it seems pretty good, honestly. <laughs> let's just do it. Uh, but I don't need to know that we need any of that other armor, so let's uh, sell these. Now, those. Uh, I don't think I'm going to worry about it. That's why I say they might be good for. um. Ah, they might be good for uh, Morrigan. I don't know. Let me hang on to those for a minute. Yeah. Hmm. Gloves of the Legion. Not going to worry about it. Boots of the Legion, whatever. It takes too much strength, doesn't it? There we go. So we can get rid of that now. Yeah, that life giver ring. We have to remember that as well. That's worth coming back for. Keep ticking over. And then some. Um, 
Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it, about it? Like, on one hand, they, they, they have an inventory, because uh, there could be two ways of looking for it, Limit, is um, realism in a fantasy RPG, or whatever. Uh, and, like, more from a tactical point of view, uh, from, like, oh, what should you take? Be careful of what you take. But I feel from a fun gameplay point of view, you shouldn't have an inventory limit. You should be allowed to pick up every single bloody thing in the entire game and just take it. Because realism, one, realism, it shouldn't even be a proper factor because it's a it's hardcore fantasy. You know what I mean? It's like it's dragons flying around. Who gives a damn about realism? <laughs> Two it doesn't make that much tactics. It just takes away from the gameplay. If I've got a full inventory and I'm, I'm in an R and about, oh, look at this item. That might be good. Now I've got to look through my inventory and decide what I should throw away and trash. So I'm going to take that. It's like, come on, don't, don't, do, don't do that to us. Just let us take everything. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's just me, though. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Right, okay, let's get rid of some of these runes. We only want the... Uh, we only want the uh, Grand Master runes. The rest can... It's not really worth it. Damage for a Stark Spawn. Aye, aye, aye. Right, all the uh, gems will sell. I think the private documents probably want to go to uh, Bodan. I'll probably buy some of these gifts. Remarkable diamond, though. We're not going to spend seven gold on a gift. That'd be that'd be insane. Um. Right. So. Yeah, overall, looks that. So, um, more damage, slightly more crit rate, and slightly more armor penetration. Uh, so less dexterity, but it gets plus two health regeneration. Uh, extra base point, three points of damage. An extra base 5% melee crit rate. And it's an an additional 20% crit and backstab damage. That is a lot and insane. Now, having said all that, uh, <laughs> um, the uh, Duncan's Dagger does plus 10 damage against dragons. So we're probably going <laughs> to not equip that for a minute. We're going to uh, do. We're going to go fight this dragon first. Is what we're going to do, uh, and then. Uh, and then we'll uh, sort out the weapon. Right, okay, is there anything else to do? Ah, Filda. Let's go see Filda and tell her about Ruck. Right, she should just be over here. Oh, well, corpse is everywhere. Oh, I see. It's like that, is it, folks? Oh, those backstabs doing so much damage. Yeah, these uh These Balen fanags, I'm gonna have to let it go so sooner or later. It's done and done. You've returned. With all the excitement over the new king, I never expected you to remember my poor son. Hard to forget him. Did you learn anything about my ruck? No, I'm sorry. I never found anything. Um, lady, your son is a dung-eating lunatic. <laughs> Let's have a little grave, shall we? Yes, but you might not want to hear about what it. What is it? Is he dead? Please don't torment me. 
I'm afraid Ruck went crazy after too long in the deep rides. Crazy? Oh, ancestors, Faven. I've heard of this. Lost soldiers turning on each other, eating darkspawn flesh. Yeah. Is that what happened to my boy? Why didn't you bring him home? He's too tainted to come back to awesome, huh? Uh, trust me, he's too far gone to help. Forget him. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, I was not gonna. I was not gonna. Sh what do you mean to take him at blade, the edge of a blade at his throat, and be like, "You're coming with us, mate." He didn't want to come back. Um, he didn't want to see him like that. Such a good boy. Yeah. Still thinking of me after all he's been through. Can't have, have said that. I think he needs me. Oh, he must be so frightened out there, so lonely. I thank you for what you've done. Even if you couldn't be bothered with more. Take this. It's my husband's Be bothered with work. more? Our dialogue option was basically to, like, threaten him with death. The first shield he smithed. I was saving it for Ruck, but I want you to have it. All right, at least you thing. gave us something. Oh, I want something. It's just, you know, it's like we're doing our best here. Uh, um. Oh, okay. We've already done that. Return to Ulzamar. <laughs> we crown the king. Um. Ah. Okay. So we've got to do something else there for that. Head back out into the deep roads briefly. Keep looking for the fee in the uh, proven grounds. Wasn't there before? Let's have a look, though. Oh, excuse me. Jeez Louise. Um... Oh, we got some more. They want to fight us as well. City fanatics. I know, it's shocking. Ah, okay. Right, these doors didn't open before. But now they do. And this is the guy. We must not exhaust our Who uh there we go. Not even no no conversation, no talking. <laughs> Fools. We have nothing to talk about, Warden. I haven't done a thing. Hmm. Is that true? Who are these two? They're just ignoring us. Gre Let's be honest. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Izzy of the Grey Wardens. Don't take it personally. Hanashan's a member of the Silent Sisters. She doesn't talk to anyone. Uh, what are the Silent Sisters? They're an order of female warriors founded by Astith the Grey, a woman of the warrior caste who first fought for women's right to be soldiers. 
when no one listened to her words, Astis cut out her tongue and dedicated herself to training until she won a grand proving bare-handed. The woman who joined her order cut out their tongues in her honor. Wow. Uh, who are you? I am Thurindon. I serve as Hanashan's trainer and translator. As a silent sister, I Hanashan know what she was saying. <laughs> she can't. The ancient paragon, Astis the Grey. As you might imagine, she requires my services for more mundane tasks. Whose side are you two on? The silent sisters support the sitting king. They are loyal servants to the Idukans. Yep. Yep. You should consider who you call king. Reconsider who you call king. <laughs> um. I'm on my own side. Then you have lost. Uh. Even in the ring, every man and woman brings an army if people support them. But she who fights without cause is only training. Whatever, ladies. We would murder you in two seconds flat. I'm gonna take first in the inaugural glory group. No, you're not. Get out of here! Yeah. Get out of here! Fine to see you here, Warden. A number of people have told me they hope to see you in the Provings. It's a rare opportunity to fight against someone so exotically trained. In fact, a few were hoping you'd take part in some informal action. Informal? You mean illegal? Assembly restricted, not illegal. I'll see. <laughs> All that <laughs> ritual lets nobles rationalize it's not a blood sport. They don't like commoners using the arena for petty squabbles. Some of us <clears> prefer <throat> an honest spectacle. And sometimes someone needs a good beating, and all that talking gets in the way. Yeah, I'm game. What have you got in mind? Say the word, and I'll line up a team from one of the younger houses. They don't often get a chance to test themselves in the provings. They're a hungry bunch who employ unusual tactics. Understand that there's no concern for fairness here. Your battles will be hard won. Uh, who am I facing? What do I get for The younger it? houses are interested in unorthodox tactics. No. Many hire mercenaries to augment traditional strengths. Anything goes is a fair description. Wow. We give small payouts, maybe a bonus from time to time. But this isn't about money. It's about skill and the chance to show it. I'll come back for some I'll fighting be. later. Okay. we give it a go. Um. I'm reporting to the palace to prepare my troops for... Excellent. So you should, sir. We'll be expecting you. We'll be calling on you when we're ready. Do not disturb. You sure? Yeah, these doors would not open before. The palace sent a missive that my cousin was wounded by the ancestors truly favor her. Do they, though? That's the real question. This is a private area. Combatants don't disturb. Yeah, well, you know. Take a gander, my dear. <laughs> the throne belongs to the Idukin. And yet Harrowmont has it. So we can do about that, bro. Right, okay, let's um Let's have a little go at the proving, shall we? Anything goes, I assume that means we're taking all of our team all of our uh, group here and uh you know, use potions and anything, so whoever we're up against, I feel fairly confident. I think we'll just do a little save though, just in case. I'm biting off more than I can chew. But it'd be somewhat tragic if uh You know, we can't, uh, you know, we can go and take on a, kill, take on a giant dragon, presumably. Uh, we can't handle Ready some, some gladiatorial combat. Training opportunities? Yeah, set me up with a battle team. We've got some young fighters ready to go. This will be difficult, I assure you. Let's see. Oh, you got a blood mage up in here. Let's see. Shall we 
had a blood mage. Oh, are we fighting to the death? Is this what this is? I'm seeing him. <laughs> Shale getting knocked over. Well, there we go. Good job, Warden. You've earned a portion of the receipts. Let me know if you want to go again. Sure. We've got some young fighters ready to go. Now, is it just the same people over and over again? <laughs> I don't... Um, oh, yeah, I got the uh, flawless uh, crystal, didn't I, for the armor. There you go. Get on shale. And uh, I think we got the... Uh, yeah, the flawless... Uh, nature so we're going from uh, green and orange to orange and green that's fine it works i got stunned you're not getting away from me oh hello there legion cage poops all right there posted did you get here early How's it going, folks? Legion Cage, how are you doing? Sight of Game, Legio, Short and Sweet, Ingle Doom. How you doing there, folks? Let me get a little shout out of there, Cage. I'm sure everybody here knows who you are, sir. But just in case. Let me just uh I know you, I know I could say shout yourself out and Cage will be like, no, I'm not doing that. He shouts everybody else out. He doesn't want to shout himself out. Oh, Snow Brothers. Alright, oh, okay. Another name. This is what you and Doom are doing for, like, your little challenge thing, aren't you? I saw uh, Mr. Wrong post about it. I didn't get all the details. But it's, like, six games over six months. And you've got to go for, like, the high highest score. And Doom's going to kick your ass. Right? Is that is that the, is that the plan? Uh, <laughs> oh, he's killing you at Snow Brothers, is he, Doom? Fair enough, sir. Fair enough. I'm sure... Uh, was that one of his choices, then? Because I think you got to choose a couple yourself, didn't you? Darkly, young master Darkly, how you doing there? Who's that? Who's he like? Who's that? Oh wow, that's Mario as Rambo. That's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, like these old hard games that these guys can uh, get on with that I uh, can't. Yeah, Poots, how you doing, Poots? Was that um, was that literally just random coincidence? There, you came in there. Um, how you doing? All, I hope you all, I hope you're all doing well, folks. Um. That's not even with the blue pill. Scotty! Yeah, it is. It's me. It's me, Scotty. <laughs> How you doing, sir? But yes, welcome in, folks. Uh, we're playing some uh, Dragon Age Origins. We're quite deep into it now. Uh, we've still got like, a, a fair chunk to go through it. And I think there's like DLC and extra expansion and stuff and all sorts of things. But um, yeah, I've got a good time of it. But yes, Kay, thank you so much. You didn't, you didn't have to raid me. But yeah, good on you. I respect that. Uh, so, is the uh, is the challenge just between uh, you two guys, or is it like open to everybody else to like try and if they want to try and obviously I guess they'd have to um, either stream or record their runs, but uh, is anybody uh, allowed to uh, partake and try and beat your scores, or is it just between the uh, two of you? Um, yeah, there you go. Well, you know, it's uh, great minds think alike, a hey, hey, poops. But yeah, thank you, Cage. I appreciate that. Um, Okay, at the minute we're just doing some gladiatorial combat in the in the uh, the dwarven city and uh yeah you know we're a bit op unfortunately or fortunately depending on how how you look at it there we go i don't know how many rounds there are that's the second fight we just did and uh there you go but yeah it seems to be the, the death which is uh pretty full-on we are uh, there we go good job warden you've earned a portion yes of money seats. um let me know if you want. I'll Not yet. Uh, I wonder. Uh, now, if it's just infinite fights we do for pitiful money, I won't really worry about doing too many more. Um, but who knows? Um, excellent. Well, uh, so Doom, is it you do one month of each game, or can can you post scores for any game throughout the period? But you start a new game each month. If that, if that makes sense. Well, yeah, what I'm saying is if, uh, have you got to get your, your Snow Brothers, uh, top score in, 
within the first month or is it throughout the whole period that's what i'm trying to say you know what i'm trying to say it's a new game each month okay got you got you okay i'll have a look at it it could be it could be amusing to see uh me trot and try and attempt that so i ain't gonna be able to keep up with it, either of you fellas it's just not happening uh but uh let me more i'd say more important than that more important to me technically but yeah but that sounds that sounds fantastic um poots cootie vip uh chocobo owner golden choo choo train owner my god what a what a what a gent and a fellow that poots cootie is good old poots without a doubt he is over nine thousand aren't ya aren't ya young man yes you are poots ah oh, bro i will appreciate that little flex from poots there let me uh get out on the uh leaderboard but yeah i hope you're all uh having a wonderful day folks i hope you had a good time of it so um so were you both streaming at the same time uh or are you just doing it whenever so that's the thing is as long as it's streamed you've got your um you've got your video proof haven't you of your, your scores and everything not that either of you are going to try and cheat something like that but that's not the point is that you do need uh you need video confirmation don't you that's that's the way these things work where you at poots let me find you young sir Oh, Poots, hang on. I'm sure he must be on there. Oh, Poots, was that your first flex? Oh, yeah, of course, because you must have saved up all your points for uh, your VIP. That's your, I think that's your... That, correct me if I'm wrong, Poots. I, I'm not seeing you there, so I think that must be your very first flex. There we go, perfect. Well, thank you for joining the leaderboard there, Poots. Yeah, exactly, you know, you prioritised. You prioritised, Poots. You were like, I know what's most, most important. But also get me on the leaderboard. There we go. 32nd person on the leaderboard there. And that's just single flex. But a single flex is uh, infinitely better than no flexes at all. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Poots. God bless you. Let me get your uh, your name up in here. Now, I'm just going to link you to your, uh, to your, t uh, your Twitch page. I assume that is acceptable. If you wanted it to go to somewhere else, you just let me know. As long as it's not your favourite, uh, yeah, no, YouTube video, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you, uh, thank, again, thank you, Cage, for thinking little old me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can show me that video, Poots, just, I can't have a link to it on my panels, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, uh, I hope you're all well. I've had a, I've had a, uh, we had a short one today because I, to, I had some work to do on something else. Perfect. Thank you so much for that support there, Poots. I appreciate that greatly. Um, yeah, no, that's true. That's true, Cage, isn't it? And uh, I guess all all of these scores are also going to be added onto um, uh, the uh, the official leaderboard we share, the Conflux shares with the, the game room uh, that Scotty... Uh, is uh, in charge of oh okay that's cool so that's um i'm kind of uh i'm not going to be playing it all month like you guys you and you you two are the perfect two to um push that oh oh holy hell um it's, t it's sunday today are we is it today we've got doom slight coptimus and steph babies doing the turtles collaboration and is that actually getting streamed? Because Slight uh, promoted it on Twitter. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. And I retweeted it and stuff. And I was like, and I asked him about it. And I was like, oh, he was like, oh, I'm not streaming it. I was like, bro, why did you? <laughs> well, someone is streaming it. Because you've just announced to the world that you guys are playing it. Are you just trying to make everyone jelly? <laughs> is that what you're doing, Slight? You're just like, hey, look at these cool people I'm going to play turtles with. Wouldn't you like to see it? You're not going to, though. <laughs> I thought that's what he was going for. But yeah, that should be cool. That'd be cool. Uh, I don't know, depending on what time it is. Yeah, 10.30 Eastern, is it, Cage? And they're doing it on Steph's channel. Unfortunately, that's 
actually past my bedtime. Uh, but I can always go and have a look at, look at the VOD. But yeah, what an excellent group of people. Anyway, let me, uh, I think that's all tidied up there. And again, thank you. Thank you, Cage, for the raid. And thank you, Poots, for the uh, flex, though. Um, but anyway, no, go, go, Cage. You've got to sort stuff out. Sort yourself out, buddy. Hmm. I do nine o'clock your time now 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 i'm up early but thank you so much cage i, I do appreciate that right okay so we've got we're gonna level up shale here uh, and i think we uh, just want more strength for now and uh, there we go this is what we want P perfect striking that should be an activated mode which uh when i get on the right bloody character uh <laughs> yeah tactics perfect um so I'm going to worry about regenerating burst in a minute. We go activate uh, mode. Oh, precise striking. Oh, okay. It... What is it? Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Um... Oh, okay. Ah, it's activated. Okay. A massive attack bonus for a short, for a moderate time. Uh, okay it's not a uh, sustained it's um it's just a temporary buff okay so what we're gonna do we'll uh we'll change the regenerating burst to it um let's have a look it's uh not there it's not there either we just bought it. Where the bloody hell is it? <laughs> oh, I just noticed something else as well. You can use any potion, health potion, health poultice. That's what I need to switch all of their tactics to, actually. Um, <clears throat> What's well, so this ability then? I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, unless it's um, no, it's actually making a difference. Anyway, sorry, I'm I'm jibber jabbering to myself for a minute here, folks. Probably, like, what is the bloody going on about? Uh, so I want to switch that there. I want to sort this out quickly. Yeah, lyrium potion, uh, least powerful. Just so you, if you need one, you should just start with your weakest ones and save your better ones. You know what I mean? That's the idea. All right, uh, Ogren, want to go? Um, least powerful. And finally, is he? There we go. He's powerful. Right, okay, we're going to get back in the proving ground. I'm going to. It's probably one of these ones where you like to do three rounds and you're done. Um, it might be five. So we'll do a couple more. Ready for some unofficial training opportunity? We've got some young. But uh, they might all be exactly the same in a minute. There we go. Yeah, Morrigan, another battle. It's called uh, Fighting the Arena. What's she like? There we go. Yeah, so whipping through these. So they do seem to be different each round. So I might do another t round or two, but then if nothing else really comes of it, I guess we'll just leave it. And it's not like we're getting much money for this, so... Good job, Warden. Yeah. You've earned a portion of it. Yeah, it's going for another round, why not? Okay, so this team looks to be the same as another team we did previously. It's the round, the second round team. Yeah. Okay, we'll just do one more for luck. Just to uh just to check. You've taught our fighters oh wait, there we go. Lessons. It will take some time before they are ready to challenge you again. Oh, okay. I'll take this with my thanks. Okay, gave us an item. So I guess that's Good work, Warden. 
Yeah, full rounds, done and dusted. Okay, that's cool. Uh, do we get anything good? Probably not. Probably nothing uh, too exciting. Oh, blood ring. Improved blood magic. Why is he giving us a blood ring? Why has he got a blood magic ring? I don't <laughs> well, you don't have any blood mages, though, so I'm probably just going to... I'm just going to sell that. Never mind. Um, how are we doing on time? Oh, close to the end of the stream, honestly. We've only got, like, about 20 minutes. 25, maybe. Right, okay, let me... Um, let me check our quests. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so, we, yeah, we've got the book. We're going to go back to the shaper and turn that in. Not that way. This way? Here we go. God, it is warm in here, I'll tell you. And so what this Well it's warm anyway. It's ridiculously warm, but uh, the heat is very much insulated in here now. Um I guess it's good. Sweating out a bit. You are of the opinion that I should not be. I am curious. It seems as if it has little reason to stay. The same could be said of you. There is no True. control rod commanding your presence, Gollum. I have no history and thus no purpose. The same cannot be said for the Swamp Witch. Its purpose is simply unknown. Mm. Keep asking questions and I shall turn into a bird. I can do that. Yep. I have no fear of birds. Not true. Oh, I didn't say you were afraid. I would simply hover out of reach. Hovering. Waiting until... Enough! Yep. I shall be silent. Yep. Excellent choice. <laughs> oh, funny. Right, okay, yeah. Uh, back into Diamond Quarter. Uh, let's get in the Shaper and just hand that in. What else we've got to do around here? Yeah, we've got... So we've got those um, pieces of that sword, didn't we? The pommel, the hilt, and the blade. I think we had to basically had to backtrack after we got all the three pieces. We have to go and take that somewhere in the deep roads. Um... Of course, Luna. So backseating uh, is basically when people in chat, like, essentially tell you what to do in a game. Um, I you doesn't usually bother me. Some people like backseating. Um, some people, uh, like, absolutely hate it, and they always have that little tag there. Um, it depends on the game for me. Like, if I was... Uh, hmm, what have we played recently? Um, I don't know. It kind of depends. If I was playing something like simple, like Mario, and someone was like, "Oh yeah, guy, you need to do if you try jumping like this and do that and do that, and it's all good." That's that's back scene. Now, if somebody came on to chat now, Luna, and they were like, "Yo, bro, uh, what's going on?" Oh yeah, yeah, you should you should go here and do this now. And I was like, "Oh yeah, I was I was gonna go do something else." And they were like, no, no, you should go here and do this now because then you do this and you do this and then you get that. That's how you should... Basically, if they start telling you how to play the game. And I'll go, no, shut up, buddy. I'm going to do things my way. And then they're like, oh, yeah, but I, I know the best way, so you should listen to me. That is backseating, basically. Some people are a little more ambivalent of it. I welcome, um, you know, hints about stuff, but backseating is essentially somebody coming into your stream and telling you how to play the game. And like I say, some streamers like that. Some people are like, oh, I'm starting this game for the first time. Um, you know, some people say someone like, they're playing Dark Souls or Elden Ring and they never played it before. And they're a little bit nervous. They might say, have the opposite tag, which is backseating aloud. And they're like, hey, I'm a noob. Please come into the stream and tell me how to do things. And they like that. Um, like I say, usually I'm middle of the road. You know, I don't want people telling me what to do. Um, but uh, also I'm open to advice. But for this, yeah, you get it. Uh, you know, I don't want someone coming here who knows the game better than me, and he's like, oh, you, you should do this and you should do that. So that's just like a little reminder there to nip it in the bud. Just so, um, you know, if somebody did, and I'm, very, I'm a very polite gentleman, I'd certainly like to say. <laughs> I'd certainly like to think so. Uh, and I would just be like, yo, did you see the tag? Oh, okay, you didn't. Well, now you do. What do you think about that? 
and then the hopefully they would be like, oh, okay, sorry, my bad. But if they force the issue, then I'll, you know, then they clearly want to kick off, don't they? And then that's like a different thing altogether. <laughs> but yeah, you get it now. Um, yeah, Balthier, you know me. I, I can't, you know, it's, <laughs> I can't deny. Uh, so the main thing, though, uh, for me, Luna, is I always put the no spoilers on anything with any measure of story. Absolutely, if it's new to me. But even if it's not new to me, just in case there's any of you guys here who uh, it's new to you. Now, I don't want to... I don't want you guys getting spoilers if it's not a spoiler for me, you know. And that somewhat goes hand-in-hand hand with backseating, doesn't it? But I guess backseating's more of a kind of um, the gameplay side of things. Um, you know, and it very much depends on what the game is, what the type of game is, and have I played it before, whether I would take the no spoilers tag or the backseating tag, um, or even the backseating uh, allowed, encouraged tag. Um, we should we should take it out of the Brayden! All right there, young Brayden. How are you doing, young fellow? You all right? What's going on with you, buddy? It's been, it's been a hot minute. Are you keeping well, young sir? What's going on? Yeah, exactly, exactly, Luna. You don't want... You know, imagine... Yeah, exactly, you've just started this. Imagine if you were streaming it, and or Inquisition, and someone came in and it was like, Oh, yeah, I wouldn't do that, because if you do that, then this will happen. And it's like you've someone's just come in, whether they intended or not, they've just ruined the game for you. You're going to be like, what? What? No, no, don't behave like that. That's not even close to being okay. But, you know, some people like that. Anyway, Paragon of Her Kind. So this is actually, this is the quest we've done. But we're getting the quest marker for it. Still. So I don't know, it's maybe it's just one of the ones that's glitched out. Anyway, let's do this one. We need to go back to Autumn Taig. It's not a problem, it's not far to go. Um... To get a fancy new sword, presumably, which may or may not be wonderfully amazing. Find out when we get there. Excellent, you're doing okay, Braden. Excellent. I'm pleased to hear that. You know, it's um, it's it's hard for life to be amazing. Uh, you know, especially not all the time. But um, as long as you're doing okay, Braden, doing okay is infinitely better than not doing okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that, buddy. Thank you, thank you for staying alone. Thank you for dropping that lurk, sir. We are, like I say, we're going to be um, finishing very soon. For about 15 minutes. That's our usual cut-off time. I need to get food, chill out for a couple of hours, and then go to bed, because I live in the future, compared to a lot of you guys. Uh, <laughs> and now I'm on this new schedule, where I'm doing a lot more streaming. Well, I have to do it, I have to start early, which obviously means I have to get to bed early. Um, to get up in a reasonable amount of time. Not that I stream Mondays and Fridays. They're my non-stream days. But I have to keep my sleep schedule. Like, if I stay up all night, obviously that means I'm going to go to bed late, which means I'm going to sleep in, which means that screwed my sleep schedule up. Do you know what I'm saying? So, got to try and maintain it. Yeah, I am. I am in the future for you, Brayden, and, and most of the viewers. Not everybody. You, know, you guys are just enjoying your uh, Sunday afternoon, just chilling. I'm like... I'm about to have my dinner and go to bed. <laughs> That's the way it goes. That's what we're doing now. Um, yeah, also, I was hoping to be able to stream later into the day with uh, with you guys, you know, a bit more. Oh, okay, just over there, is it? Um, but, you know, it's, it, that's not panned out the way I wanted to do. But you just want to stop me streaming. We're just going to do, you know, do it differently. What's going on here? Lol. Get it? Passing a stone? Oh. I do get it. Yes. My question is this. Had the anvil of the void not been destroyed, does it believe the dwarves would have used it? Hmm. You mean to create more golems? Oh, yeah. Faster than you could squish a nug. Even knowing the agony that it caused, they would still inflict it on others? No need to inflict it. There'd be plenty ready and willing to sign up, just as you did. There's fewer yeah, and fewer that's a good of point. us each year, and the dark spawn never run out. If it meant saving Orzammar, there'd be plenty who become a golem, sure. That's a good Does point. Does it think it was wrong to destroy the anvil then? <sighs> no. So 
Sometimes people need to be kept from doing stupid things, even for good reason. Is he referring to his former wife? I think some statues should sod off and ask their sodded questions to someone else. Ooh. Awkward and sir, not a fan. Poots! No worries, buddy. Thank you for dropping that lurk. Um, yeah, you sort your stuff out. No, always. Always. I'm always here if you ever need me, Poots. You just drop me a message. I'll do what I can. Um, but yeah. No, we're going to be finishing up in about 10 minutes, buddy. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you for, uh, for uh, being there. I do appreciate it. Alright, so here we go. So if we just head through in this direction. We shouldn't be too far to go. Maybe there's no enemies that have respawned, possibly. Not it matters, I'll you know, I'll take all comers. It's not it's not too much of an issue really. Right, here we go. Okay. I am received. Oh wow. That's pretty amazing. Not as good as blight blood. But still pretty amazing. Uh, I guess we'll give that to Alistair, maybe. Um, yeah, so exactly the same base stats as uh, Blight Blood. Um, and three... Um, uh, three uh, rune slots. Um, doesn't have all the extra, you know, super-powered... Uh, you know, 3% crit chance to, to attack, 10% backstab damage, and poison. Um, it does have plus 6 damage versus undead. Take it or leave it. Uh, and plus 20% spirit resistance. Yeah, nothing to write home about. Just the fact that his base stats are, like, top tier for a, uh, a longsword. I didn't, didn't mean to uh, equip that. No. So, yeah, we'll probably just give that to uh, Alistair, I feel. There's no kill for Monday morning. Well, thankfully, Monday's technically my day off. I have probably got work to do uh so <laughs> um so i don't i actually feel good mon when i wake up monday mornings and that's not normal is it yeah for you and the, and most of the most of you lovely folks who are doing that nine you know nine to five monday to friday grind all right okay i think we can leave now so just about the time, I th I think we uh, have uh, just enough time to go and say hello to a dragon. And uh, can we? Oh, we can go directly to camp, can we? From here, we can. Nice, nice. Uh, accomplishments world explored 63 percent we've only been to 63 percent of places so far i i i right okay let me um check everyone's gear ah no i'm not going to check everyone's gear some of it i because i might need to give uh duncan's dagger to somebody else not gonna uh, worry about it okay i was gonna um Morrigan. I'm going to check these uh, gloves for you. Yes, improvement. There we go. I don't know if she actually wears them, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, no, no more Duncan sword for you. Well, actually, all the extra base stats and stuff. I actually kind of suit him a bit better. <laughs> what about, uh, not Sten? What about Zevran? Oh, can, oh, he's not strong enough. He's too weak, is he? Too weak? Yeah, I'm going to give him, uh, give him that dagger, I think.
Right, okay. Um, let us head out. Right, yeah, and Ogren's yeah. coming with us. We've not had a conversation with him, saying like, Hey, buddy, do you want to come with us? He's just not left, which is fine. <laughs> like all the other characters, you have to kind of uh, have some kind of chat with, even if it's brief. Um, so we're going to switch Lel back in. Indeed. Now we've... Uh, now we've uh, finished what we've done there. Uh, okay, so we want to go to the, uh, yeah, the dragon's lair, but we have to go to the ruined temple first. Get a little fire. Um, no, not too many. We've only met one proper full-sized dragon, um, which... Uh, Right, Lel, you want to give us those buffs, my dear? Oh, she's waiting to do a song. Okay, that's fine. You never liked this part. She's lying. She did like this part. Uh, these darks gonna be getting wrecked now. Yeah, I feel we're pretty OP now, honestly. I shall do it. Yeah, so I'm attacking the barricade. Just from the, just from the uh, items they've dropped. Put that elf root for sure. And that was that. Uh, I'm feeling fairly confident about Thea, but I, I really won't know until we uh, get there, to be honest. Right, here we go. Is there any quick and easy way to into the dragon's lair? I feel like there was a different there was a shortcut. Yeah, mountain top. I think yeah, I think it's right through there actually. We'll soon find out. Not that it would take us long to uh, get through if we have to go the long way. But hopefully this is the shortcut. Right, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a short one today, but it actually the timing of it has worked out very well. Yeah, there we go. Excuse me. Itchy nose. Oh, here we go. We hit this. That dragon can actually see it. It's just up there, though. Should come down here. There we go. High dragon. Oh my god. God, I can't get anywhere near him. He's uh, attacking us from beyond. <laughs> We're doing some damage, though. <laughs> and he keeps kicking us. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, it's a tail whip. <laughs> That's right, all the time he's uh, kicking us from behind. The support's uh, picking, him, picking him apart. Okay, I assume her. I oh, know, didn't we uh, establish that they're just kind of uh, they're asexual dragons in this? I think that was established. Oh my god. There we go. Chunky dragon. Yeah. I th like I said, I, th I said I was feeling fairly confident. I feel kind of bad. But also, you know, I feel like we had the responsibility to uh, kill it. Is going to drop any codex update? There we go. Is going to drop any treasure? It's going to bleed out. Yeah, there we go. High dragon. What's he got? Oh. Right. A very chunky battle axe, but it's not really that good. Uh, random dagger. Uh, crappy bow. Ooh. That might be good for Lel. Random heavy helm. Those might be good for Morrigan. I don't know who there's... They, they might be good for. Probably no one. Mm, the rest, just random heavy armor. Pure bitch braid. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize Nibbles uh, was a bitch. Uh, but, uh, trademark of the line. An ancient monastic order dedicated to preserving a purebred strain of Mabari. There have been four pure bitch designations during the last century legendary hounds each <laughs> at eight armor that's pretty incredible that might be good an upgrade uh dead head charge oh my god minus one willpower but plus 20 physical resistance hello uh we've got grandmaster flame room very nice dragon scale not drake scale dragon scale that's a lot of treasure Dragon scale armor for Wade, eh? Eh? Oh, yeah, we need, in fact, we need to go and uh, speak to Wade, don't we? He's got our second lot of Drake armor waiting for us. Um, right, okay, that's um, a, lot, a lot to consider there. Okay, so let's... Uh, okay, so you really choose me if it's... Between electrical damage or nature damage, I don't know that she specifically does either. That's the thing. Um, right, Lel. Uh, no, it's the, yeah, the long sight, wasn't it? Yeah, more armor, uh, half a point more armor, plus five percent ranged crit chance. I'll take that over ten mental resist. All right, cool. Well, there we go. That was, um, that was the dragon. Uh, I want to get back to camp. Uh, we're, we're at the end of the stream, so I won't worry about tidying things up. Um, we need to sort out people's gear, sell some things, sort out the runes. Um, then maybe, actually, I don't think we need to stress it. We can, then, yeah, okay, then we would, should probably go back to Denarim and, uh, can we go back to camp here? No, we can't. Um, there's definitely a few things we can t turn in and tie up, but mostly just to uh, get um, go and pick up our. Uh, oh, so I suppose we could just do it right now, really quickly, just so I don't forget next time. Because it does take some time between s s commissioning the armor and getting the armor. Let's quickly do it. Hopefully, there's any random encounters on the way, but they shouldn't take too long either way. Right, okay, quite a way to go, but not a dinner room. There we go. Oh, loading. Hello. Good cutscene. Oh. That's the Archdemon. That's his easiest nightmare, isn't it?
Awful. We're coming for you, mate. You're awake. Did you... Did you feel it too? It was like the Archdemon saw us. Saw us. What does that mean? He knows I we're coming for him. Wait. Did you hear that? Oh. Is a camp under attack? No. It is. Well, y'all getting wrecked. Time to move camp, I think. Let's go. <laughs> right, yeah, that's just a little reminder. They're uh they're on to us. Indeed. Yeah. The archdemon knows about us and no is coming for us. Well, that's kind of uh, hopeful in a way, if you think about it. But the fact that the Archdemon specifically sent Darkspawn specifically after us, what does that mean? That means it sees us as a threat. So, you know, that's, uh, that's something to be uh, encouraged by, I think, if you, you know, if you think about it. Right, let's uh, get in here and see Wade. We're closed. Oh, it's you. Yeah, you love us. The great scale armor is done. Excellent. And it's, well, decent. Few things I'm rather proud of. Excellent. And it didn't take as long as I feared. Odd. You'd better be very proud, Wade. We can't afford any more flights of fancy. I feel good, actually. I wouldn't mind working on Lord such and such's armor today. Yeah. We'll see how long this lasts. Here's your armor. Now, please leave. Nope. Let's have a look at it first. Where is it? Yeah, Wade Superior Drake Scale Gloves. Hmm. Not any good for us. Oh, it's 20 strength. Uh, not any good for Lel either. That's fine. Hope you enjoy your armor. I'm glad Heren let me make something decent for a change. Yeah. Welcome. Please leave. And if you have any more scales, you can shove them. Uh, no, I've got dragon scales. You just don't know when to quit. No. <laughs> Why so glum, Heren? <laughs> Today is He's a glorious day. It's... Today, I make dragon scale armor. You do? I feel just giddy. <laughs> Lol. Um, what can you make with it? Patience, patience. Now, I've dreamed of what I would do every night. It's in my head in perfect clarity. It will be the work of hours. Wh oh. Wh you're serious? Absolutely. The only question is what type of armor. Dragon skin is marvelous, flexible and tough. I could make a lighter set of dragon skin armor, heavy dragon scale armor, or dragon bone plate. What interests you? Hmm. Uh, I prefer medium armor. Set me up the dragon skin. Uh, the dragon scale armor sounds perfect. Oh, it's probably it sounds like it's probably only body armor. We don't really need it. Uh, the strongest armor you can make: the dragon bone plate. Now, we we would be strong enough to use it, I imagine. But I don't know if we want to change it for the warden commander's body. Um, I'm tempted to look this up just to see which one is what each one does. Um, the dragon scale means like Lel may be able to use it, or more people could make use of it. Or Zev, or it's, it's, it's heavy, but medium might be the way to go. I don't know. Um,
let's go medium just because I, I feel that will give the greatest flexibility of who can potentially use it because i don't think izzy actually needs it obviously i think uh, she's probably gonna be fine without it so let's just go excellent, that excellent excellent now don't move um is he making this right away there you go oh wow okay My life have to wait for it that is you did it so fast of course Eren. have some faith <laughs> i am a master armorer you know miracles never cease but you you're not welcome here anymore uh, i need a sabbatical maybe someplace warm i hate my life well what are you gonna do about it mate look ah there we go it's gloves it's always gloves isn't it oh he had the boots as well drake skin boots so he got drake skin gloves Oh, sorry, the uh, dragon skin boots. Ah, they're not very good. Yeah, it's fire resistance and one point of stamina regen. Ugh. Oh, and let's look at the uh, the bodies here. Okay, dragon skin armor. Not any good for us, but um, fifty percent of fire resist stamina regen twenty. All right, how does that compare to um? Ugh, I mean, no, it's kind of good. It's kind of good. Right. Anyway, <laughs> never mind. Thank you for hydration, Sphinx. I'll take that. Just as we're wrapping up here. Let me just have a little look. Yeah, I couldn't find any of those. I probably want to turn that in. Hmm, interesting. Some of these um, require us to go other places. I'm, I know we're going to come back to dinner in anyway. Um, so let's get to camp. That will remind me to... Um, Sort out gear. We'll sort out that next time. You've gone 10 minutes over. That's fine. 10 minutes is 10 minutes. Ugh. Right. So the main thrust of the uh, overall story now. Um, you know, we've recruited the dwarf. we recruited the elves. We've got Arl Eamon on our side. Helping out with whatever. I have to... Oh, okay, random random corpse. Okay. And that's glitched out. Um uh, it's the the circle of the magi, the mages. Who um Squidge who are technically slaves. So if you have major like abilities, um manifest at any point, you are uh you given you you're given to the major circle and you're basically it ain't no Hogwarts. Do you know what I mean? You're um, you're forced to, you know, go and live there and train there. They look after you, but you you're, uh, you know, you're restricted in what you can't, where you can go, what you can say, what you can do. So it's a bit of a funny one, isn't it? It's like, how how do you judge it? Either way, we have a treaty with them, a four hundred year old contract, which uh they should uphold i'm sure there's going to be some grief some reason why they need our help or they you know they we have to do something for them <laughs> but that's what we'll do next time when we get back to dragon age origins um then after that whatever that involves uh then we will call the lands meet uh and prepare for the final showdown with the darkspawn essentially but anyway, how you doing? How you, do how you doing, Squidge? Oh, thank you, Squidge. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're um, we're gonna be you deaded. Yeah, I bet you're deaded. Was it uh, was it fun, or at least was it successful? Was it was it worth? Yeah, resurrect on Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, just take it easy tomorrow. You'll sleep well tonight. 
Hopefully you get some good, got some good food or something, and then just do absolutely nothing tomorrow, Squidge. Uh, and then yeah, resurrect. You know, midweek. That's fine. Um, but not terrible. There we go. So you know, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? You just gonna have, you, you just gotta kind of go for it, I guess. But um, but yeah. So it's been a, it's been a short one today. I'm glad you survived at least, Squidge. Um. I hope you enjoy your evening and, uh, and day tomorrow, at least. Get some rest. Um, we, uh, yeah, it was a successful, successful stream, even if it was a, a short one. Um, but we should, uh, let's go raid someone, don't we? But yeah, let me, uh, yes, thank you very much, Legion Cage, uh, for the, uh, raid. And thank you very much to, uh, Poots for the, uh, the a flex getting on their leaderboard there um <laughs> hi bye basically yeah seven yeah i mean <laughs> it's what it is isn't it um so yeah i will be day off tomorrow whatever that means i'll probably do some work but um here we go let me reload this Uh, we actually just, uh, send you, uh, over to somebody. Yes, raid. That's the word. My brain's not working properly at the minute. Um, uh, interesting, interesting. Good options here. Lots of good options. Unless, of course, somebody wants to uh guide the rage you're more than welcome to um wow ah, excellent what are you cooking seven there you go not long now that's like almost 90 percent, isn't it ah oh, some good choices here um there's uh game tracks he's a bloody ledge uh barrel no barrel we've he's always playing something called boyfriend dungeon that sounds uh, interesting. Um, but uh, we raided him the other day. We've got to spread the raids around. Um, we else we've got? There's Thormagander. There's uh, Phoenix. Um, Nishol D. Uh, FG. Uh, Ash and Bobs. Uh, all sorts of people. Uh Oh, there's Professor Sean, but it looks like she's doing a uh, co-work stream. Um, but anyway, I looks like most of you need to head off. Let me, um, we've also got Parrot here. How far is he into his stream? Look, he's only basically just started. He's doing some, um, Persona 5. I will send you over to, uh, Parrot. Robot Death Parrot. He's a good lad. Uh, let me send you over there. Um, yeah, of course, no, no need to hang around. Um, if you've got stuff to do, I'm sure you'll do. Um, and set up. There we go. Perfect. There's, all, there's too many people to raid. Um, but it's fine. It, it works. I'll make a note of it. I'll do my thank you tomorrow. Uh, that's a game that I want to play at some point. God, I just want to make any notes. Uh, there we go. Parrot. I'll, I'll make someone. I'll do my uh, little tweet at the end of the week. And I'm like, who am I thanking? And what did we do? Um... Sphinx, thank you so much for being here. And let me finish this hydration for you, probably. There we go. And um, again, sorry it was a short one today. But that had some stuff to do. But I don't think I've got stuff to do on Tuesday. So we will get back on Tuesday with a vengeance. And get some chonky progress uh, done on Dragon Age. Um, and take it from there. Um, if anybody needs me. Between now and Tuesday, you know what yeah, what to do. Uh, you know where to get me at. That's, the, that's right. Yes, the conflux. Or just, uh, just uh, you know, get my DMs or whatever. You know, I'm not precious. I'll re reply to anyone. Uh, <laughs> revenge? Is there some revenge happening on Tuesday, Af? I don't know. Our first stop will be uh, the, this, the Circle of Major. Anyway, the raid is going. Let's go hang and see Parrot.
I love you. See you soon. What?